Hello everyone and welcome to part two of today's streams. Technically part one, because this is the only one that's gonna be saved as a VOD on this channel. Speaking of VODs, if you're looking for yesterday's VOD, because we did play Ratchet and Clank yesterday, um, I accidentally forgot to turn VODs and clips back on from all the co-streaming yesterday. So I did upload what I had recorded of the VOD here on Twitch. It's also going to go live on YouTube a little bit after this stream because I have to wait for it to be 24 hours. Um, but if you want to catch that VOD and you're looking for it, like, um, did she not stream Monday? I did stream Monday. It just like, it, uh, sorry, let me turn that down a little. I did stream Monday. It just got, um, like it didn't get recorded as a normal VOD. So it is on the channel though. It is, um, I'm feeling ratchet and then dot dot and then clank or whatever I named that st that uh, stream. And it is here. I think all you have to do is go into videos and then look for upload specifically and you will see it. I tried to make it a highlight, but it wouldn't let me highlight an upload. Cause then if I highlighted it, you would have all been able to see it very clearly. So I don't know. Just letting you know, if you're looking for yesterday's VOD, it is there, there is one. You can also check out the VOD channel, uh, my YouTube VOD channel, and it'll be there as well, so. Just letting you know because I couldn't figure out a way to get you to see it, so I'm just gonna tell you all. Um, so with that out of the way, today we are going to check out some of the games from Summer Game Fest um, and from the Wholesome Direct. There's a ton of demos on Xbox right now. They said they have 40 demos. Um, when I checked, I don't think it was 40, but there was a bunch on there. Maybe it's just when I checked. Um, there's a Hello Neighbor one called Guest. There's Tunic, which I think that's been there for a while, but I didn't see it. Um, Tunic is one that we're going to play first because you all were really excited for it. It looks like a little Zelda spinoff with a little fox. It was super cute. And you all had mentioned you wanted to see me play that. So we're going to start with Tunic. We have um, here. Let me just let me just show you. Here we got Tunic. We got Teacup. We got the Hello Guest. I think that's a demo. We have Lake, which was one of the ones we're interested in. We got I Death Trash. I don't know if we're gonna check out, but it was just one of the games I saw that we're gonna that I put on here. 
um, Button City, Battle Cakes, and then there's two more on Steam. Let me check my Steam. There's a couple more on Steam. Yeah, there's Letters, and there is... Okay, I don't know what just happened. Okay, there's Letters, a Pico, and Button City I also had on there, but I don't know if we're gonna play it play it on there. Um, and those were all the demos I could find for now. I'm sure there's more. I'm sure there's more. Um, I'll check really quick. I'm not gonna let you see my screen because it always shows all this weird information. You can't turn it off. So I'm gonna check the demos one more time. I did check them a couple times before. I don't think they've updated. Yeah, so here I can show you this. So this is like the demo page on Xbox. There's also this, but I wasn't interested in trying this game. But there there are some demos, see, starting from, we've already played Scarlet Nexus, but there's um, Tunic was the first one, it looks like they put up, and there's all these other ones um, on here now. So you can check those all out. They have quite a few on here. That might be 40, actually. That might actually be 40. So we're gonna check, we're gonna check a few of them out. I'm excited to check them all out. We're gonna check out Tunic first because that was the one a lot of you were excited for. Um, I was excited for it as well, but I just figured there's a lot of hype around Tunic. So we'll start with that one. So without further ado, we're gonna jump in. I hope you enjoy. I hope you have a fantastic time. I hope you've had a good day. For those of you who want my thoughts on the uh, Nintendo Direct as there is no VOD for it, but I did stream, <clears throat> sorry, my reaction to it. Let me just get a drink of this right now. Um, I did react to it. I did watch it. And it, um, it's okay. It was okay. I think there were... A lot of people are calling it an absolute win. So I just think I wasn't interested in the game sh uh, shown specifically. There were some games I didn't know why they showed it. If it was an E3 Direct, I thought it should have been bigger. Um, again, they have been hit by COVID extremely hard. So like I wasn't... As much as I, there were things I wanted to be there, I also wasn't sure they were gonna be there. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, a, like I said before, it was a 50-50. And I really think a lot of people liked it though. I think it was just me. Maybe it was just what I expected from an E3 Nintendo Direct isn't what other people expected. So a lot of people liked it. There was a new Smash, the final Smash character from Tekken um, was announced. There was, the biggest thing for me was the Breath of the Wild stuff. Um, that they had like a new trailer, which at first I was kind of disappointed. I didn't think it looked like a good trailer, but watching it over again, the dude is missing his arm. There's a bit more, but you kind of, it's like seeing it the first time, I feel like it's not, you're not gonna get a full scope of what's actually going on in this trailer. So you kind of have to watch it again. It was really interesting to say the least. And we did get a release window of 2022 for the next installment in that series for the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So that was pretty cool. Um, I think it was okay. A lot of people are saying it was solid and I, I'm glad a lot of people are enjoying it. There was a Metroid game announced. Like there were some really big things for very hardcore Nintendo fans. Um, and I kind of, I don't think I'm a hardcore enough Nintendo fan to have appreciated everything, but I'm happy that people are happy. I'm happy people are getting games they're excited about. For me personally, it wasn't like a knock my socks off. I think the Xbox and Bethesda showcase was way bigger in my opinion. But you shouldn't really compare them. Every studio has dealt differently with COVID and everything going on. So I shouldn't really even be doing that. I think all in all, E3 was okay. Technically, it's still going on. Um, speaking of E3, there's supposed to be a Bandai Namco. Why is this music so extra? There was supposed to be a Bandai Namco thing today. And I'm kind of interested in checking it out because I think there could be Little Nightmares 2 uh, information. They tweeted for the first time today. And they haven't tweeted the entire E3, which is kind of interesting to me. So there could be some Little Nightmares 2 DLC news. That's what I'm hoping for. Again, that could be like really like probably it may not happen, but I was just kind of interested in checking it out. Um, but I don't think I'm going to co-stream it. I think I might just watch that after my stream because it's going to take place right at the end of my stream. And um, yeah, so I'll let you guys know what I think if you're interested in that in that uh, showcase. Um, but yeah, I think E3 overall was okay. There were some really, really good announcements. Um, a lot of cool games I'm looking forward to. I've been putting some trailers from them. There's lots of indie games that were announced that look really good. So I think all in all, it was pretty good. I think E3 was pretty good. I think there were a lot of cool game announcements. 
and I'm still excited to see if PlayStation releases their own thing within the next month or so. They probably will. Most likely, they will probably release like a state of play, and I'm excited to see that too, because that's the only thing, uh, or like only, I guess, developer, only like, I don't know, one of the main companies that we haven't heard from, that I'm also excited to play a lot of their games. I'm excited to play all these games coming out. A lot of them we're going to stream. We have tons of stuff to stream all the way into next year just on Game Pass alone, and then there's all these other cool indie games, and then PlayStation's going to release games. So lots of good gaming content, I think, was announced at E3 as a whole, and I don't think it was a fail. I think the PC game show and future game show were the worst shows of the entire <laughs> the entire thing. I fell asleep during the PC game show. They I feel like they just reran a lot of stuff we saw from like earlier shows. It was it was interesting, but otherwise I think the whole thing was pretty good. I think all the announcements were good. There's tons of cool games. And yeah, that's my thing of E3 overall so far and I haven't even seen the Bandai Namco thing. So, I don't know. I don't know if you care, but that's it. <laughs> that's my little spiel on that. Let's switch over to Tunic. I know you've all been excited. I'm excited to check it out. It looks so cute. It literally, I looked at my, um, I have a little amiibo. It's like the only, well, the one Max bought me. Um, there's, look how cute it is. It literally looks like Zelda. Hey, Blue, welcome back. I'll, I'll, I'll BRB, no worries. Um, he literally looks like this little character looks exactly like um link from link's awakening like that little amiibo i have it he literally is dressed just like him <laughs> okay so i think we're good i think you can hear the game let me know if you can hear the game if there's any audio issues i always check but it's always nice when twitch chat lets me know if there's something i've missed or something weird um so we're gonna jump in this is very beautiful. I know this is simple, but I think this is really cute. We're gonna jump into the demo. I'm excited to play this. I think this is also a Canadian made game, I think. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's so cute. Oh, my heart melted. Okay, okay. Here, we're gonna move my thing up a little because just a bit not too crazy just a bit okay okay oh my gosh it's so cute so again I am playing this uh, demo they're all on Xbox um, they're all with Xbox for the summer game fest a lot of these I'll let you know when I switch to PC the music's fire this is super cute Look at his little hair! Oh, that's literally so cute. So if you if you have an Xbox, uh, go and try out all of these demos for Summer Game Fest. Um, some of them are available on P on Steam. I checked, but I don't think Tunic has one on Steam. Oh my gosh, that's satisfying for some reason. Is that not satisfying? That's kind of satisfying. I love the way this game looks super cute okay what are we looking at we should probably go up on this thing oh uh, I'm gonna say okay I don't know what it says okay hello this demo is a small sample of what tunic is all about it's a remix of the main game Letting you see a couple areas and find a few treasures. Okay, so it's got a mix mash of a bunch of stuff. Tunic is a work in progress, but I hope you have a good time with this little taste of it. Go find a so go find a stick, go find a sword, go find some secrets, Andrew. Cool, and the Discord's there, so check out the Discord. Discord.gg slash Finji if you want to check it out. Oh, we can flip ah, oh, we can flip it around. So we can focus with left trigger. Right trigger is a shield. A flask is right bumper. Left bumper is your inventory, your items, and A dodges. Oh, holding A. Ooh, holding A does a little flip. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, so the green is our stamina and the red is, I see. <laughs> this little roll is so cute. 
Oh, oh, he's sweaty. He's sweaty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did it too many times. Okay. Looks like we can have three items up at the top. Oh, okay. Okay, very much like how uh, a Zelda would work. This is very interesting. Oh, a mailbox. I don't know what it says. Maybe it's not a Canadian developer. Everything is in... Uh, Oh, so that's how you focus. Okay. We need a stick or something. <laughs> we need a stick or something. Maybe we go this way? It's a little forested area. Ooh. We need a stick. Oh, there's trees in the way. Oh, that must be like a part of the level, but we're only getting little tastes of the levels. need a stick. Okay, maybe we have to go inside this place. Let's see. Maybe we get it in there. Ah! Ooh, a stick! Here's the stick. So we've got to equip the stick. I'm gonna make it X. Oh, X. Okay. Everything breaks apart so- this is such an adorable style for a game. His art style is gorgeous. So cute. Okay, so now we should be able to defend ourselves. Ooh! Oh, we collected money! Okay, we need a thing for that. Okay, dungeon that way. I'm assuming that's what it says. <laughs> Okay, hello? I think I need a shield. This thing is following me. Ooh, I definitely needed a shield. Now I need some health. Also, I don't know if this is a language of writing. I think it is a Canadian thing. Uh, game. I'll check. I'll double check and then I'll let you know. Or you could Google it. <laughs> Hmm, maybe we have to keep going that way. We need a shield or some health. Or both. Both would be cool. These are the easy ones. Oh my. Okay. Still can't get over there. Maybe... I don't want to fight that thing because I have no health. I see chests and things. Hmm. Hmm. I just want a shield. Oh, what's this do? Does this heal me? Oh, Oh, it healed me. Nice. There's a whole bunch of stuff down here. Oh, a sword? It showed the picture of a sword. Oh, that guy's a big guy. No, we don't even have a shield yet. Got him. What's this? Oh, it's so we can see. Oh, there is a sword there. Oh, okay. I wonder if the shield is the other way. Okay, one sec. I'm gonna real quick look for his shield. I, for a fact, know I need one. There's a cool thing there. down this way. Okay. Okay. That actually worked out. I think I do have to go up there. I don't see... Okay, let's go get the sword. I don't see a way to get a shield here. Ooh! Oh! Okay. 
Oh, we got them. What's this say? To the sword. Okay, so we're just trying to get to the sword. Maybe the shield's after. Hey, Rochelle, welcome to the stream. We're just playing the demo for Tunic, which was a, a Zelda-inspired game. It's very cute. And we're just trying to get... I'm trying to get a shield, but I think I have to get the sword first. Oh, these chests are locked. Okay. Let's go down here and hope I don't die. Oh, right off the bat, we're getting attacked by this thing. Okay. Hit and dodge. Ah. Hit him and dodge. I see what I'm supposed to do. Okay. I have no health now. <laughs> oh, that guy didn't even... I'm really trying to run to this, this sword. <laughs> Give me the sword. Yes. Give me the sword. Oh, I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I couldn't get it. Look at all of them. How am I supposed to fight them? Did I keep the sword? Oh, I did. Yes. Okay, we have a sword now. Let's try and get a shield. I like how their little foxy hair wobbles around. They run. It's so cute. Ooh, those one shot that one now. Okay, so it's, our sword is much stronger. Okay, let's fight these guys. This one here. Oh, dodge. Oh, we got him. Okay. Woo! We gotta dodge. Did he just take out that other one? I think the bad guy took out that blue one. I didn't even touch it. Is that a chest thing? What is that? Okay, if you sneak attack them, you can do a lot of damage without them seeing you. Okay, what's in here? A shield? Oh, a piggy bank. Okay. What does this do? I'm not gonna use it, because I don't know what it does. Whoa! Oh, it's a big one. Okay, okay. Okay, is there a shield? I don't think we can go down here yet. Oh, we can walk right around. Okay, maybe we can go down here. Okay. Oh, we can go in this. Ooh. <gasps> A key? Uh, a little statue? Money? And a bomb? But where's the shield? <laughs> oh, it's a thing. Here we go. Okay, so we can't go up that way. Hmm. If I were a shield, where would I be? I don't think there was anything here we could get. No, no, no. Oh, maybe. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Can we take these down? <gasps> oh, this opens the pot. We can chop whole trees down. We're, we're unbelievable. Okay, that means there's stuff we can reach. Like up here. Oh, wait, there's... We can open this door now. Open the door. shield in here. Oh, it's a house! Is that a Zelda reference? I don't know what this does. I don't know what it says. Not gonna lie, I can tell if you're reading those weird text things or just saying what you think the object is. I can't read... 
I can't tell. I, I'm not reading them. I don't know what they say. I'm just guessing what they are. <laughs> I'm just guessing what they're saying. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, we can chop this down. So we can get over here to this chest now. Shield. <laughs> Where's the shield? We can't get there. Doody 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 do. Tree chopping. It's so cute how they. I kind of want to eat the tree tops. Don't they look good? They look like little, a little cake or something. Push it. Okay. Could probably get down this way. All right, so fuck Zelda, what I miss. Yeah, it's like a little, uh, it's a Zelda-inspired game. And you play as a little fox. We're just trying to find a shield, but I think we ended up in a dungeon. Oh, my. <laughs> Alien. Oh, this sword is... Oh, it blows up after. Keep that. We got to keep that in mind. We got to get away from that thing. What is that? Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh my. Okay. Do I have anything that resembles health? We don't know what that is. Okay. What is this? Okay. What's this do? Oh, you just break. Oh, the piggy bank. You just break open for money. I see. No, 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 no. Dodge. Ooh. Okay. We didn't really dodge. It's uh, a little bit unresponsive unres when you're when you're locking on. You can't lock on at the same time. There's the shield. Okay. Now we have the shield, but we are dying. He spins up the stairs. Damn, that thing was wild. How was I supposed to? I think you should use the shield probably with that guy. So it's a little dark in here. Oh, this thing heals us. It's like, it looks like one of the shrines from Zelda. There we go. There's a chest up there. Oh, what's this? Oh. A type of oh, it's a slorm. A type of slime who just wants to be close to you. Stun it by blocking. Just wants to be close to me. You mean my insides? That thing was gonna rip me apart. An auto bolt. It wants to protect something, but what? Circle around and use the shield. Okay. And we're okay. Okay. So it's like a pan. It's like a booklet. You're basically opening up. I didn't realize that guy could get to me, so now I'm scared, but it's okay. Your shield helps a bit. Ooh. Okay, the shield. Okay, well, what am I supposed to do when it explodes? Okay, wait a minute. That was a little extra. That was a little extra. Oh, I didn't. Okay, I didn't dodge in time, but we got it. Hmm. Can I get. Oh, I can't. Okay. Okay. We can walk on this. Okay. Can I walk here? I don't think I can. Yeah. I wonder if I can eventually have like a little, uh, I don't know, like a little, a little thing. Can I walk on this? Okay, I can only go this way. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Okay. 
Holy. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, I've really got to stay away from them when they blow up. I've learned I really... No way, you go back to the beginning? Okay. Oh, he can't dodge in the water. Oh my gosh, the shield isn't working. Unless I'm just doing it wrong. Oh my gosh. I guess it got me. <laughs> I guess it got me. Okay, wait. Okay. I can't dodge in the water. Okay. Shield. Get away from him. Get away from him. That's how I'm gonna do it from now on. I missed the Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. It's interesting. I think the first time you watch it, you're gonna be like, what? And then the second time you watch it, uh, you realize some stuff <laughs> is going on in the trailer. The first time I saw it, I was like, I don't really like, what is going on? And then the second time I saw it, and it was, I slowed it down and looked at like frames of it. It was more interesting than I had initially thought. But it's supposed to come out next year. Okay. Get away, get away, get away. Get away, get away, get away. Okay, okay, we're learning to deal with it. We're learning to deal with those things. Oh, what's this? Oh my lord. My gosh, this is hard. It shoots too quickly between. I can't use the shield anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh, this game is hard. Or I'm just really bad at games. I'm probably really bad at games. And now it's gonna restart. Oh, I'm just gonna run ahead. <laughs> I don't think they'll follow me, will they? Oh, they do. They do follow you. That's really good. <laughs> I love that. Oh, they took that guy out. Oh, oh, you can use this? You can use them? Okay, wait a minute. You can use them against each other like that? Wait. That changes things. That changes things, chat. That was so easy when you use them against each other. I don't push that down. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's more stuff in here before we move on. What is that sound? I don't know what that sound is. I'm sorry, are we having invisible? Oh. Hmm. I don't know what that sound is. Maybe it's the one I, I left? Okay, we have to go this way. I can't get down there. Oh. Oh my gosh, they're so aggressive. Holy, how do I get more health? It's gonna, I'm gonna die, it's gonna take us all the way back there again. Oh my. Let's keep going. Okay, it's just pitch black. There's, I don't think there's anything over here. I'm flashing because of I'm dying. Okay, I think. Okay. 
Is there health in here or anything? No, I don't think so. No. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to do what I did last time. I'm just going to run. Unless these things follow me. Oh, the bridge stayed down this time. There we go. It's going to take them out. Oh, okay. It kind of got me. But they didn't blow it up. That's fine. Oh, it's still on. It's still on. It's still on. We're leaving. Storms are the worst. They're literally the worst. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Okay. It's certain death if we go over there. Oh! Okay. That's worse. That's way worse. Man, I'm just gonna die again. That won't blow up if it goes in the water. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Please be help. <gasps> it is. That's it! <laughs> oh my god. Why is this game so hard? Why is it so hard? Okay. Okay. Oh. Where's the stairs? What? I can't get up the stairs. Oh. Oh, there's an under I see. Okay, another one of these Triforce, not Triforce things. Oh, you're really. Alright. Uh... Oh my gosh. Is, is there even anything important in here, chat? Do you think... Do you think there's even anything important in here? They hit way too hard, first of all. They hit way too hard. Dark Souls and Zelda combined? Maybe that's what it's like. I can't even run past- I have to deal with them. They're so- it's- everything is, like, overly aggressive, it feels like. Like, way too aggressive. Hmm. You know what? I don't even think we have to go in here. <laughs> I don't even know what's in here that we'd have to go through. That's crazy. Okay. I'm sorry, what? Oh, we can't dodge in the water. Yeah, everything. Even that stuff at the entrance respawns. Okay. 
When it's one, it's fine. It's when there's like five things. Okay, let's see if there's something else. So the dungeons are like you die, you reset right there. So we know how the dungeons work. There's more stuff up here that we can get to now. Do, 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 do. I think there's a place over here we can get to now. We couldn't get there because we didn't have... Well, I actually never used the stick, but we for sure... For sure can get there with the sword. Because we can chop the trees down. Is it here? No, it's not here. Is it really all the way down here? No, this was cut off for maintenance. Oh no. I thought there was a place down here. Hmm. Okay. Oh, here. What is this? Hmm. I wonder what that's supposed to do. Oh, we can get this chest now. Another heart potion. Yay! back here. Okay. Let's go past this thing. Ooh. Okay, we can't. Sealed forever. What? Sealed forever? Man, I guess we really do have to work through that dungeon. Yeah, we couldn't go across that way. Hmm. There isn't any down here. Okay. I guess we have to do that dungeon. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, we'll try the dungeon a couple more times. If I can't do it, we'll switch to a different game. It's really good so far. Let's try and get down there. Okay. So there's one here. There should be a spinny one at the bottom as well. Or it, there's not? See, the shield's up, and it kind of didn't... Wow. We already have no health. Okay. I don't want to use those potion things. We got this right here, so we can use this. Okay. Shield. Hit me. One, two, run away, run away. <laughs> The shield forward to shield forward. Okay. Dude, I'm avoiding these people. 
avoiding all that. Okay, shield. One, two, and then hopefully you blow up the other ones. And this one didn't do it. Okay. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good run so far. I want to avoid that guy. These arms are crazy. I just have to avoid them. Oh. Okay, they hit so hard. Oh my gosh. I can't even run. You just walk slow. One, two. Hit me anyway. Don't reach! I have no health now. Oh my god, bad. In a bad situation. The shield broke. Holy crap, chat. And now we're back at the beginning! Dude! <laughs> Rest in peace. Oh, games like this make me so upset. <laughs> Not that it's a bad game. I don't have patience. I have no patience, chat. For dying every five seconds and going back to the beginning. Though I know a lot of people like these games, but I don't like <laughs> I've never enjoyed dying and dying and dying and dying and not making any progress. That's why I didn't didn't get Returnal, because I knew. I was like, I'm not going to like that. I'm not going to like that. Okay, one. What? I hit him twice. You shouldn't have come after me. Crazy. Don't look at that. He's looking at him. The fox is looking at him. It's almost safer to go this way. Oh. He's not- he's holding the shield and he's not- I'm so confused. I actually don't know what we're supposed to do in there, to be honest, because there's no door. Can't go this way. There's no door in there. Like where I'm going there, there's no reason for me to go there. Is there a map or something? Okay, that doesn't. Ah. Okay, it shows us. So we come in there, we go up. And there. Wait, what? Under the well. Hmm. Okay, last run, and then we'll, we'll switch to a different one. Ah! Okay. Oh, good, it caught the lot. Oh! I didn't realize he was blowing up. <laughs> oh, they can reach so far. I can't get up here. I need to get up here. How do I get up here? Ooh. Oh, can I go this way? Not really. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Alright, I'm done. <laughs> don't like games that make me do that. <laughs> I I guess they have shields, so I can't hit them. Unless they're hitting me, but there's two so close together that my they hit my back when my back's turned. Okay. 
I'm just not good enough for this game. I think if you like, like Blue Penguin said, you like Dark Souls and Zelda, it was a good run, bro. I, I literally, I <laughs> see, I don't have the patience for those games, chat. I'm lame. I don't have the patience for those games. But if you like, um, if you like games like that and that looked interesting to you, I recommend checking it out. Um, it's on Steam and it's on Xbox. I played on Xbox because that's where the demo was for it. But kind of cool. Kind of cool. So we're going to switch. Um, which one do you want to try next, chat? You can you can help me. Uh, you can help me pick. So we got this thing called Battle Cakes, um, Button City, this thing called Death Trash. I don't know. I just saw it. Um, Lake um, and Teacup. Oh, and we have this. Hello, guest. I don't know what this is, but I, I got it because it was a demo. Is that all the demos? I think that's all the demos. What are you feeling, chat? What are you feeling? They're all like indie games. The rest of them are a little more like cutesy, except for that, whatever Death Trash is. Teacup. Lake. Button City. Battle Cakes. Oh, and then there's some on the on Steam that we can try too. Um, one second. I'm just looking at my Steam wish list. Or not my wish list. Why would I look at my wish list? I'm trying to look at my thing, my um, library. It's a hard choice. They'll look cute. Yeah, they're all so cute. We're going to look at all of them. There's also letters and a Pico on Steam. There's two other ones that are on Steam. Hmm. We'll, we'll do the computer ones together at the end instead of switching back and forth. Hmm. Okay. Max, are you watching? Max wanted me to try this, I think, when he was watching. What's yeah. teacup? Let's just try teacup. What what even is this? We'll just go in order of what of the order they're in. Those looks cute. The rest are, are like uh oh. It's so cute. This is literally, I would make this my wallpaper on my computer. This is so cute. Oh, I have to press. Oh my gosh, they read manga. <laughs> Do you see them in the bottom left? Okay. Teacup. I don't remember what this one was about. I just want to be a cute frog reading manga. <laughs> Same. Meet Teacup, a frog who loves tea. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, warm, cozy vibes. I think this one you explore the world. It said, and I think it's in a non-linear story. Is the way it was kind of shown. Imagine it's another Souls-like game. <laughs> it looks so cute, but it's all like. Is there no more tea? Oh my god. Travesty. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tea Oh no, there's a tea party. We need tea. I think you like walk around the world. And thus began Teacup's journey for tea. Aww. <gasps> oh my gosh, this art style is adorable. Teacup walks with confidence. Oh, girl. Teacup walks with confidence. Honestly, you me when there's no tea in the house, to be honest. Teacup is on a mission. A present from your grandmother. Aww. How come Teacup has it together? Teacup has it together. Get it, Teacup Slay. Teacup walks with confidence. A tea encyclopedia. Oh, it'll be useful. Use X to open and close the encyclopedia. While it's open, you can browse using the left analog stick. Ah, the basics. Honey, ginger, lemon, verbin... Verbinia? Verbinia? Whatever that is. <laughs> lemon balm, rubios, chamomile, mint, rose hip, jasmine, hibiscus, Cookies. Oh, cookies. We snap for that. Oh, wait. I'm sp I can read it, though. Like 
this. Ah. You know, this kind of reminds me of a game I played and the way it sounds right now. I wonder if it's made by the same people. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Very colorful. The ground reacts when you step on it for the first time. It's weird to be outside. Why is it is it pandemic? No new letters. Oh. Let's confidently Oh wait, I have to press a button. I was about to say I guess I can't walk that way. This is adorable. It's like a storybook chat. It's like a storybook that you would read. That's the way it looks. <gasps> Hello. Private letters. Yeah, we shouldn't. Oh. Otto. Why, hello, teacup. Haven't seen you out here for quite a while. May I help you with something? I ran out of tea. Oh. I see a quest for tea. An adventure. When I was a young lad, I used to go on adventures too. Oh, the memories. Uh -huh. Well, today is your lucky day, teacup. What a coincidence. I was just about to throw away this map. What a coincidence. <laughs> Chad, what a coincidence. Okay. I don't understand how to read this map, but it looks like there's some key places. It used to be complete, but some spots have faded with time. You'll have to fill the rest yourself. Oh. As we walked, does it fill the map in? It was a gift back from when I arrived in this town by mistake. I'll tell you about it some other day. <laughs> well, they won't keep you any longer. Looks like you have a busy day ahead of you. Oh, whoa, his head... <laughs> He is vibing. <laughs> this leads to Otto's house. Okay. Is that a spider chat? Ha! <laughs> Give the game back. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> oh, I see. Our house is at the bottom left. Okay. Oh, you, you, okay. I sell baskets. Baskets are good for containing stuff. Do I need a basket? How exciting! The anniversary celebration will soon start. Oh, look how Teacup looks so shy. Why is Teacup like me? It's okay, Teacup. I'd be scared going here too. Hello, little frog. Teacup? Well, hello, Teacup. I don't have any of those teas you speak about, but I do have the best veggies in town. Ren! Oh, Ren? That good-for-nothing badger's veggies have nothing on mine. Oh my, oh, oh. There's potatoes. Oh my goodness. The audacity to bring up Ren. These fruits look like delicious. That's fruit, it's sweet. I warn you, you might become addicted. It's not fruit, chat. Heck off, people. We need tea. <laughs> um, this animal is not selling fruit. If I can become addicted to it. <laughs> it's the other stuff. <laughs> Maybe these jams would taste good with toast and tea? Ooh. They seem harmless enough. Hello. Buy some mushrooms. I'm 100% positive they're not poisonous. Were those, uh, or were those, let's say, between 80 and 100? 95% sure they're not. Okay, no one's buying these shrooms. <laughs> Blue penguin shrooms. Maybe 90%. Dude, you are selling some whack shrooms. There's a lot of people from neighboring towns. Bren is hard at work. Oh, this is... I should have brought some water. Whoa. Teacup, is that you? Unbelievable. Darling, I thought I was seeing a mirage. Okay, does tea... <laughs> Chat, just because you read manga and drink tea does not mean you don't leave the house. Oh, no, who am I kidding? It is. It means you don't leave the house. <laughs> this game has you down. <laughs> Come again? Tea? Tea. Tea. Always about tea. I know, dear, but you need fruits and veggies, too. What can I help you with? 
You ran out of tea? Impossible. Oh, that's one lovely book. You want me to look at it? Hmm, I don't know. These herbs except one is mint. I can tell you where to find it, but first I need a little help. Mm. Ooh, a fetch quest. It's just so hot outside today. I can't even move. I just realized, chat, the game is still tunic. What should I, what, where should I even put? Let's see, T. Oh my gosh, chat, all of these are already on here. Well, we just changed the game to teacup. They're already on Twitch, that's crazy. Okay. It's just so hot outside today. I can't even move, but I need to organize my stand. Would you do that for... Oh, I'll organize your stand. I'll get some water in the meantime. I'm just parched. See, chat, I thought we had to get the water, but now we run this business. Teacup takes place in the tunic world. <laughs> if you got to the end of that at, uh, thing, you would have made it. Wait, what is happening? What do I do? Oh. Oh, we gotta organize it up. Organize it up! Can I rotate these? Do I have to click on it? Oh. Okay. No, no, no. Come back. Come here. Hmm. Are these all supposed to fit together in a specific way? Okay, wait a minute. I've already messed up. I've already messed up. want them to go like this see this is how this is how you do oh they're crooked though that looks super weird that's not good they kind of have to do this it's just fine mm. can we do this Could put these here. Hmm. Am I overthinking this chat, or is it is it actually? I think maybe maybe I'm over. What is this? Oh, it wants you to do it a certain way. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. It wants me to do it a specific way. Oh my goodness gracious. Right here? It wanted it to go like right here. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know there was a certain way it wanted me to do it. So what? This is gonna go like this? Ah! Okay... Uh... No, this one... Oh, I see! Goodness gracious, phrase of the day! Well, goodness gracious, Chad, it wants me to do it a certain way. I see. Okay, I didn't know that was a specific way. That was a cute puzzle, though. Mm. Thank you, Teacup. My stand has never looked this good before. Mm. Yeah, now that you say so, the boxes are kind of oddly shaped. Yeah, why are you making Tetris a Tetris stand? Salamandro? I saw Salamandro the other day with some of that herb you need. Go ask him. He should be by the pond. Okay. I promised Malcolm I'd buy from him, but Ren's gossip is just better. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I got stuck. Variety. Oh my gosh, this little teddy bear is so cute. 
Hello, do you like pumpkins? They're the best fruit to ever exist. I mean, that's debatable, but it's okay. What a cute stand. It is cute. Roses are red, violets are blue. Aren't violets violet though? But it doesn't sound as well. <laughs> it's very true. Path leads to the plaza, or maybe not. The map is faded. Oh, so I can't... Okay, so I have to walk back. Again, her walk is flawless. Chat. Just imagine walking out of your house as confident. That's why everyone's like, oh, it's teacup? Because teacup's confidence is just on another place, you know? We gotta go to the pond and find this guy. Okay, it looks like one way goes to mushrooms, one way goes to a lighthouse. I'm assuming the guy's at the lighthouse that we're looking for. Okay, so it looks like that's not part of the demo. That's why it's faded. We're gonna go, actually, see what I knew the whole time is that we can't go there, and we're gonna go the other way. Te I was just testing the game out if it knew it's... Is that a little frog? <laughs> that's so cute! Oh, hello, little frog. Who designed this? Looks pretty wobbly. I mean, you know. Aww. Be careful, honey. The water here is deep. Maybe he's calling for help. Maybe... <laughs> Maybe that frog is actually in danger. I don't know. We'll just keep confidently walking. Whoa, this must be who we're looking for. Oh. Salamandro. <laughs> Hello there, little froggy. You lost? Hmm. The old crony sent you. Oh my god. What are you looking for? Hum? I do have some of that mint in my garden. <laughs> I'll give you some. If you beat me in a race in the lake. I am wearing a cute outfit, sir. I'm not getting in the water right now. <laughs> I must warn you, I'm the strongest, fastest swimmer around. Okay, salamandra. Oh my god, I had my outfit with me. Is there a way I'm supposed to be doing this? Oh, I have to do the pattern. Oh! I have to do the pattern. I see. We got it. Okay. Got it. Whoops, 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 whoops. Got it. Got it. Got it. So little manager's not gonna know what hit him. Cheat codes, that's what hit him. <laughs> Ooh, cheat codes. <laughs> but nothing cheat was about that Whoa. swim. That was a wholesome swim. Wow, well done, little froggy. I have to admit, I was a bit tired because... Okay, Salamandro, you were tired. That is the oldest excuse in the book. You were cheat coded. I, I won with my cheat codes. Um, I was a bit tired. Yeah, tired because of my swim all afternoon. But a victory is a victory. <laughs> you have quite some talent. Have you considered swimming professionally? You hmm. could... Oh, You'd rather stay at home. <laughs> they made her chat. They've literally made her our socially anxiety, like our anxiety queen. Like stay home, read manga, and drink tea. And that's all you, she could just stay home. Why does she want to be a professional swimmer? She, she could be reading, she could be reading Spy Family. She could be reading anything. <laughs> I see. Visit me sometime and I'll give you some mint. I live in the meadow to the north of this pond. I'm going to stay home and relax. That's what she's gonna do. That's what I would do. Honey, sometimes the only option is to be fabulous. You are fabulous. Be fabulous. Chat, if that is not... We need to read it again. This... We need to put this on something, chat. Honey, sometimes the only option is to be fabulous. You are fabulous. Be fabulous. Do you know how much I need that in my life? I need someone to say that to me every day. Socially anxious, but actively participates in swim races. Um, to get the tea. The goal is the tea. Even even when you're so when you're awkward or you have anxiety, when there's a goal, sometimes you just gotta do it. Do you hate doing it the whole time because of anxiety? Yeah, but you do it because the tea. 
Okay, can I... Did I get the tea? Do I have a backpack? Do I have a... Oh, gosh. Wait, did he give me the tea, chat? Or the mint? I don't think he gave me the mint. Hmm. Oh my gosh, he's gone. <laughs> okay, well, I hope he gave me the mint. He's gone. Or am I supposed to go to his house and get it from his garden? Oh, maybe I go to the garden. That might make more sense. Let's see, can I even do that? Meow Meadow. Hmm. I think you're supposed to go visit him for it. Oh, does he live in Meow Meadow or does he live here? This is the market though. He probably doesn't live. Yeah, he, okay. We have to go to Meow Meadow, I think. I think that's where he lives. Though it sounds like it's where cats live, but maybe he lives there. This is so adorable, chat. This game is, okay. Oh, did I say Meow Meadow, chat? I'm so stupid. It just says Meadow. <sighs> Rest in peace. What the? I didn't take a screen. Oh, I did. <laughs> Sorry. The Series X controller just has it. The X, uh, it just has it in the middle. I pressed it. I was trying to pause the game. I'm dumb. It says Meadow, not Meow Meadow, chat. I <laughs> no, no, no. It's Meow Meadow. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's Meow Meadow now. Bro. Oh, he lives right here. Okay. <laughs> in a meadow. <laughs> I was like, where is she reading meow? Chat, literally, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here you are. I couldn't let you beat me again, so I ran as fast as I could back home. Sir, you need to have some therapy because being that... <laughs> you know, I wasn't even racing you. Look how sad she looks right now. Telling her you're trying to race her. You can come whenever you want mint and grab some. I don't use it much. You drank it? I had no idea you could use it for that. <laughs> hmm. hmm. I'll have to try it someday. I bet I can drink it faster than you. <laughs> Same. Chat. Chat, chat. The meow was there. It did say Meow Meadow, so. <laughs> okay, we got some mint. Perfect for hot and cold drinks. Mint and a cold drink? Well, I guess people like mint ice cream. Chat, do you like mint ice cream? It's not my thing. It reduces chances of vomiting. It was nice meeting you, little froggy. That was it! I was having so much fun! <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the teacup demo. If you have any comments or feedback, we'd love to hear them via social media at Smarto Club or directly to our email. Press X to return to the main menu. Well, you've made this gorgeous game that I'm literally gonna have to buy now because it's so gorgeous. So fun. You just have the taste buds. Mint ice cream is great. <laughs> I have the taste buds of a peasant. That's pretty accurate. I do have the taste buds of a peasant. I mean, I don't think anything more accurate has ever been said about me, in all honesty. That was absolutely adorable. So I like tunic. I'm just not patient. It's still good, though. Tunic is good. Teacup has been good. Let's see what else we got. Whoops. Let, let, me, let me choose them. I gotta choose it. The next one is lake, which I think... If I'm correct, it's about delivering mail, but you have to like find out about people's lives. It sounds like it should have been called tea because you're getting the tea on your neighbors by delivering their mail. Welcome to Providence Oaks. Thank you for playing the lake demo. This game is in its final stages of development. You may encounter some performance issues or a bug here and there. Having said that, enjoy the game. Lake is scheduled to be released September 1st. Holy crap, chat. I'm going to be poor. These games are all coming out so soon. I like all ice cream. Okay, chat. Cookie dough ice cream's the best. I, I need you to stop right now. <laughs> My peasant taste buds like, okay, pretty basic things. Because I'm a peasant. You were all right. You caught me. Frame late. There is no limit. That's right. Mean Girl said that. Um, what do we got? Radio effect is there like copyrighted music y'all might want to change that okay everything's looking pretty good 
How could you not do full screen on an Xbox? Oh, maybe because this is also PC. Are you ready, chat? This is Lake. We're going to start a new game. This game looks really pretty so far. I'm excited. I'm also excited just to look through people's mail. Can I do that? Can I look through the mail? I might do that. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. We got to change the game name. I want see. Let's see if this one's even here. Uh, Lake. And it's here. Chat, they literally put them all on Twitch. That's so nice. Change it to Lake. Hmm. It is loading. What is that? Coding? Ah. It's funny how a program designed to help organize your life. Do I have to click anything? Is the reason why I can't be at the Labor Day party. Is it? I think this is voice acted. I'm surprised this part isn't voice acted. But I'm glad we made the deadline. And I'm glad I can now spend two stress-free weeks in good old Providence Oaks. Oh, she's writing this. It's 1986. Hello? There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes. the I mean, Labor the Day party? The band was great and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No way. Brian. And then he fell in the pool too. And... No, Roy. Uh, okay, Steve. Ah, well, okay, we get I'll it. I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow morning. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't great be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait. Yeah, but... uh. Do you really have to? I hate when people do this when you're working. It's a lifetime. What? Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay. Right. Awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith. Have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. Meredith said, back up. I'm taking my two weeks, bruh. Sent Steve running. <laughs> You know what I like about this game chat is I can get in. Thanks so much for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. She got a new job? Oh, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for Wait. me on Labor Day. She got no problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me Do dozens they? of times whenever I was in a bit of pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. So she's... You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show Wait. me the ropes? Sure. All right, then. Get ready to roll. So wait, she left her job to go to do a different job for two weeks. Holy. That was loud, sorry. Lake. I'm hyped. Whoa. A little bit of a little bit of a bug, but it's not ready. It'll be ready September. This lake, it's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mm -hmm. mailboxes. Take that this is... bag, it is to the mailbox and insert the mail. Okay. <gasps> I'm delivering mail. Oh, can I run? I have to walk? What if I go on the street? Can you imagine he's in the car like what? And you you walk in and boom, murderer. <laughs> do, 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 do. They're closed. Oh, is this the mail? Deliver the mail. Look around while you deliver the mail. Because when you deliver mail, you could get jumped. Just take your you time, could. Ms. Weiss. They never start a game until Frank Coleman has turned on his TV. Oh, okay. I'll take my time. <laughs> Just joking, chat. Joking. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should that be was able really to face hard. the challenge. I almost didn't uh, make it back to the car. Bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. 
I left oh here gosh. from Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. So is she coming back to reconnect with her town then? and her people? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm, um, uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. Oh, it's he doesn't even know she has time, a job? So you'll have to get it out of the back. Okay. I want to start learning people's secrets. I know this is the tutorial, but I want to learn the secrets. Open the hatch. This is a cute male outfit. Oh, you can select... Oh my gosh, you have to select the right one? We only have one. What on earth did these folks order? Read it. Tell me what it is. <laughs> Tell me what's in there. Put it in the mailbox. Oh, we gotta go to the front door. Okay. Should I do what Amazon does and throw it at your front door, take a picture of it mid-flight, and then run back to the car? <laughs> do you know how many pictures I've gotten from Amazon chat where, like, <laughs> the, the the package is literally in the pro like mid air being thrown because they they threw it took a picture and ran it's i've had so many of those pictures when they they're like oh look we delivered it to your house excuse me why are we knocking on the door you know what i really like about watching baseball i'm sorry not missing the first pitch okay well drop the package with a that's the last of them. Oh. I should have thrown it. This isn't accurate. <laughs> Male people throw it. <laughs> All my Amazon packages are gently put. Are they? Mine are thrown at my door. <laughs> like so, whipped at it. <laughs> Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it yes. depends on what you it's want to do. It's 1986. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess That's of my it. tax returns. Get Honey, Doom is do coming out. Me? You need to sure, get yourself there a computer. Are for that, <laughs> get into gaming. You'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Uh, you know what? At least we rang the doorbell when we dropped that package off. <sighs> we didn't just no drop it. Like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Okay, this guy's oh, obsessed with baseball. Out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. 7 a.m.? Okay, Frank. I can't have this See job. It's too early. Adios. I don't get up till 1 p.m. Oh, is this my house? Uh, Jeff, is this? I thought this was another delivery. I guess this is my house. Do I have a dog? <gasps> I think I have a dog. What's it called? Blinky? Oh, I Binky? Oh, just Binky? <laughs> it's Binky. If it was I Binky, it's like as if it's an iPhone dog, but it's not that time. It's just Binky. I hope Binky's alive. I want to meet Binky. This is a very nice property. Let's just... Okay, let's just appreciate that she has this nice property. Look how nice it is. Look how nice her property is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the garden is nice and everything. You gotta appreciate it. I binky spin off of my Carly. You know, chat, you all know I'm illiterate. I literally can barely read. Weiss residence, Monday afternoon. Oh. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. What? Oh, one more thing. The freezer oh, stuff we're watching our a house. In the That's why we're here. Bye. We're watching our fam's house, and we got a job there in town for some reason. Indeed. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend. No, we're lonely. We did. The didn't. deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in oh, our it's company's Steve. history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Ah, I'll talk to you later. Apparently the new iCarly show is going to be an adult show, not kids show. That's good because you know who's going to watch it? Adults. Like for the Hillary Duff show when they're like, nah, 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 we got to keep it all. I'm like, do you really think kids are going to know who the hell Lizzie good McGuire morning, is? Meredith. No, Ready adults are. Day? Okay. Anyway. That's my rant. I think that's a good a good idea. That's a good idea to make it more of a show for adults because that's who's going to be watching it. 
Kids are not going to watch iCarly. They don't even know what that is. Just saying. Wish they would have let Lizzie McGuire live her best life. Exactly. I was so excited to see that, bro. I was so excited to watch that. And then they're like, oh, I'm sorry. We had creative differences. I'm like, no, you guys just didn't want to see people kiss or something on screen, Disney. You're being ridiculous. <laughs> Good morning, Frank. Ready to... Oh, shoot. Um, See, this is what I would want to say. So I might... I might just say that once a, someone is cooking onions in the house, I can Good smell it. Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I just get to go by oh, myself? I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin in case you get lost. I'll probably need Thanks. it. Thanks, <laughs> I'll probably need that. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. Whenever... Okay, because of the flipping Incredibles, when someone says Bon Voyage, I just think of that. It's stupid. It's stupid, but that's the truth. Okay, we're gonna get... Can I drive around? <gasps> Ooh! Where's the map? Can I mark it? 207 Main Street. Oh, I can mark it like this. Two oh seven Main. Holy, wait. Okay, chat. Okay, I'll deliver the mail. Okay, where's the NOS? Ugh, how am I gonna get around without NOS? Do I have to pull over? Can I just drop the car? Here, we'll do this. Perfect. Alright. No, I'm sorry, I'm delivering mail. Hey, I'm delivering the mail. Oh, am I in the way? Here, here, here. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. <laughs> okay, there you go, sir. There you go. I'm just gonna get the mail. It's my first day. How do I know if it's a, a package or... Oh. Oh, you can see here. That's kind of interesting. What is this? 102? Meredith? What is this? Oh, you can zoom in like this. Ah. This is the general store. Okay, I'm assuming this is 102 Lake Road. I'm gonna assume. Excuse me, I'm delivering the mail. <laughs> what? Oh, God, I don't even know what street this is. She can just walk. Where's the numbers? Oops, left the package in the truck. Okay, so it is a package. <laughs> Ma'am, I'll be, trust me, I'll be almost done. Uh, it's okay, I'm a professional. <laughs> I'm a professional, ma'am. This is 100 Lake Road, isn't it? This is none of this. What is that parking? Look! Okay, whoa, ma'am. How come I can't see what these things are? Oh, we're not even in the right... <laughs> it's 103 Main Street. Oh my gosh, we're not even in the right place. It's 103 Main Street. Sorry. Oh wait, no, I do have to deliver a package here. <gasps> oh my... Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's- I'm new here. Meredith, look as you cross the road, man. <laughs> Can you get run over? Um, here, let's see. Just park the car here. Oh, she went over the sidewalk to avoid me! <laughs> the, okay, here, here, here. Oh, is it because I'm near the crosswalk? Let me get away from the crosswalk. Ma'am! Can you hit me? Oh my, okay, let me get away from the crosswalk. This is Main Street. We have 207 and 103 Main Street. How the heck am I supposed to know what the numbers are? Oh, you know what? Let's see. The general store. How the freak do... Okay, we know for sure this is 103 coming up. 
So let's just get let's just get the package. Can you hit me when I move? Let's just get the package. We're just gonna leave the car. It's fine. 103 Main Street is not a parcel, so we should be good. 103 Main is this house. Okay. I'm glad you're not my local Amazon person. Chad, I'm doing good. It's like UPS. <laughs> UPS cars drive whack where I live. And we're here. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so entertained by horribly delivering this mail. I wish I could whip the mail at the door, though. That would have made it. Oh, shoot. I have to go to the mailbox. Yeah, this is 103. Here we go. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Or it's his new baby mama's house. <laughs> Just joking. Um, okay, we delivered that mail. Main Street... What in the... What is happening? Whoa, 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 stop the autopilot, stop it. It just autopiloted us, what the heck? Oh, if you press A, it's autopilot. Holy, that startled me, I thought I broke the game. So the only other one on Main Street has to be 207 Main, so it's the, it's a, we know what package it is. So we just gotta do a quick turn around. All these signs stopping me. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. Here we go. We're good. The general store, right? Perfect. You gotta get close, chat. Oh. We're having a bit of a... Freak out? What is happening? Okay. I think I've just parked a little too close. Nope, I think I've broke the game. I think I've... I don't understand what's happening. I think I broke the game. <laughs> the streets ain't safe with Tatiana behind the wheel. It's safe. And this is Meredith. I'm not driving this car. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, dang it. The light post... The light post saved his life. I have broken this game. Where's the package? Uh, I think I broke the game. Walking straight does this. Like, I'm walking full-blown straight. <laughs> I didn't mean to break it. Okay, it should save us where we're supposed to do the deliveries. Were you trying to run someone over? I let... I just let it happen. I think the game... I think I broke the entire game. <laughs> I think it's broken. <clears throat> Chad, I think I actually have to exit out of the game. I think I broke it. I did not mean to break it. Um, I think I found some bugs and glitches. If you hit people and stuff, it glitches out. <laughs> not the spinning. I don't know what that was. Let's see if it even loads again. Oh, we can continue. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't save whatever I did. <laughs> I think I'd have fun just trying to turn this game into GTA. That's what I'm having fun with. That's why I wanted to check it out. I was like, ooh, a male sim? And I was like, imagine if you didn't do what the game wanted. <laughs> but apparently the game breaks if you do that. Yo, someone's cooking something so smelly in this house, but it's good smelly, you know? You know when you're like, wow, that's so smelly, but you mean it's a good thing. Do you know when you do that, chat? That's what it is. It's so smelly. I love it. <laughs> Okay, it takes a while to load. Even though it's, well, unless it's not using the SSD from the Xbox, it should have loaded a little faster. So maybe, maybe I messed it up. Okay, it brought us right back. Okay, let's hurry up and grab our package for Main Street. Probably this one, maybe, who knows? Okay. How do I deliver this? Should I just throw it at the... <laughs> I wish I could throw it at this shelf. Ooh, what do they have in here? Okay. <gasps> Chat. 
You all said you didn't know what Kool-Aid is. Look at this. It's Kool-Aid. Y'all said you didn't know, and this game knows what Kool-Aid is. Uh, is that a saw? Oh my god. It's literally Kool-Aid. What else they got? Do I recognize anything else? I've seen that popcorn box. I've never bought that box of popcorn. Run someone over again, bet. <laughs> Wait, what? Who doesn't know Kool-Aid? Some people in my chat didn't know before. It was kind of funny. So I had to show them what Kool-Aid was. The Kool-Aid man. Okay, what do we got? Frozen pizza? I feel like I've seen that actual pizza. Hmm. Mr. X? Oh, like Mr. T? I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. This is so funny. Oh, postcards. Can you imagine if this was real life? She just saw me come, like, first of all, hit, try to hit someone outside, smack into the flipping store, and then just proceeds to hold her package while looking at everything. <laughs> it's the real, it's the real male person I would be. Isn't Kool-Aid what that cult man made people drink and poison them? What? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> oh, Kool-Aid is like something you put in water. It turns it into tasting like juice. It's just sugar and water. Well, if you get the Kool-Aid sweetener, but otherwise Kool-Aid is just like a box. It's like box juice, essentially, or like in a bag sometimes. Here, take this. Can I help you? Hello, here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Oh, well, she got that I blue um, eyeliner on, bro. Or mascara. Holy crap. Ago, back Love when they it. called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. You do? you do? It's best not to feel bad about it. <laughs> Only a few people ever really make it. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. That was a very interesting segue. Only a few people make it here. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. <laughs> Photography mini lab coming soon. Does that mean I can get photos developed? Thanks, Barbara, or whatever your name was. I'll see you later. The Jonestown Massacre Man? Really? Oh my gosh. Okay. So we've delivered that. Let's deliver this. Uh, one, two, Lake Road. Which is not this way? Wait. No. Turn around. We gotta turn around. <laughs> Oh, ha! <laughs> That's fine. Googled it, although joins used poison flavored. The drink mix was also commonly mistaken, referred to as Kool-Aid. Oh, so he made something that was like similar to Kool-Aid? Oh my gosh. In the 90s and 70s, 70s like mass murderers were on fire. Like I, over 900 members of, oh my gosh. Okay, well, I didn't know this guy made his own flavor of Kool-Aid. He made Kill-Aid, bro. <laughs> that is not funny. Also, that's a horrible thing, but... Actually enjoying this. Me too. Is this the town statue? Oh, the game knew. The game knew I was going to try and hit it. Okay, which way are we supposed to go? This way, this way. Where's the NOS? We need to go faster. Pick up some speed. Oh, we picked up some speed. Ready? <gasps> oh, it didn't do anything. Ah, the mighty Ambrose River. Uh. Ooh, perfect. Which house is it? This one? Not this one. Oh my god. Game's lame, can't destroy stuff. I mean, yeah, why can't I destroy stuff? That could give you, like, penalties for... I think the game is supposed to be more of a relaxing, chill game. I'm trying to turn it into, like, GTA. Okay, we'll deliver a couple more mail. This is a letter, so we'll just... Pop this one in. This is also 102. Okay, good. We have one more package. Oh my gosh, that's not what I wanted. Your driving's not relaxing. I 
What do you mean? Yeah, this takes me back. <laughs> Smashing into stuff, this takes me back. Is it this house? Oh, there's cats. Okay. <laughs> 200 lake? Okay. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Oh my gosh, we should throw this away. Hello, cats. Can I throw it at the cats? Ah, oh, zero out of ten. No chaos. <laughs> Why are there so many cats? Oh my god. Uh, ring the doorbell. And then leave. Oh, oh look, Genevieve. Takes me back to 08 when I mailman. drove Hello home there. drunk. Oh What's no. Your name, then? Uh Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Why, so course. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? Oh my gosh, this, this woman looks fa Sarah fantastic Weiss, for her age. She used to Not me, Meredith. It's backstory lore. <laughs> oh, Meredith. <laughs> I thought you, you said you... I thought you were like, oh, this really takes me back to when I was drunk driving in 08. I was like, uh, hello? I was like, I don't know what to say to <laughs> I thought you were out here telling me you were drunk driving in 08. And I was like, whoa, bro. <laughs> Oh my god, I was gonna say, we all thought it. We all had the same thought of like, is this? Uh... <laughs> oh, so Meredith's backstory, she's a drunk driver. That's, I mean, look at her driving. I'm not doing it. I told you guys, she's driving. 22 years to be exact, but. <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost two Genevieve's ago. Is she talking Calm about cats? Down, Genevieve. You're going to I love how that truck was probably trying to get around my car or something. <laughs> you do remember me, don't you? I said Miss Jenkins. You're the cat lady. <laughs> of course, you're the cat lady. And uh, you've got more cats Shh, than they're ever. They're coming out of everywhere. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly, slightly more of them more. Like Genevieve here, and Thomas. Oh, please don't name them all. <laughs> please. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? It's a teddy bear. Yes, ma'am. I think it's a toy. So bear. you can make people mad when you give them stuff. You can be mean. I mean. It's shaped like one and feels plushy. Someone must think you need another animal in your life. <laughs> She's so mean. Bit of a nosy posy, aren't you? I know Frank would never feel up the packages. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I have to take it I'm just going to run it in the ground. I have eyes. Hmm. Well, it's probably another gift from my son. <laughs> oh, my God. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Oh. <laughs> well, anyway, got to run. Oh run God. along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. The meow is not in the game. Chat, you can be so mean to these people. You could be so mean. Oh, okay. Where did he come from? Fake lies. Fake lies. Oh my god, this is spicy. You can be flipping mean to them. I'm gonna go around and be mean to them, bruh. How far do you deliver? Holy lord. Pretty far, I'd say. Okay, well, we're on our way. We're on our way. And. Perfect. <laughs> Barely dinged it. Is this a package? Oh, I can't walk through the gas station. I like her little knapsack, though. Her little pouch is really adorable, I'm not gonna lie. Who's that? I'm not talking to them. Why do I have to talk to them? Okay, we're at 300 Lake. What on earth did these folks order? Oh, maybe we should talk to them about it. Do we just talk to this person? Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank.
Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Haha, <laughs> real funny. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that These people are so Frank upset. gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori. I'm Hello? Providence Oaks mechanic. You're like and 5 years I'm old. I'm the one who keeps the goose running. What do you Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Is Thomas is Thomas my father? Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in PO than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. It's not your- Unworthy Girl, you work at the mechanic thing. You don't get to decide who drives that car. It, you bring it back to me, yes? I don't have much well, of a choice. I don't You're have much of a choice, do I? <laughs> nope. Did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. You don't sound like a good mechanic if you I can't promise. fix that, babe. <laughs> uh, thanks, I guess. You're welcome, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. You can have such aggressive conversations with these people. <laughs> you can just make them hate you. They're already kind of, like, upset. Can we... Oh, I can't get in the car? Oh, I can. Okay. We're not turning the radio on. No one wants that. No one wants that. Okay, last last one, I think. I think this is our last one. Turn on the NOS! We'll turn it on. Ah, uh, country. We'll just turn that off for a minute. <laughs> also, because that I heard it was someone singing. I also don't know if that's going to get DMCA. Let me think. Where was <sighs> Bear Creek again? Scree! Okay, we got it. Shortcut. We're just taking a shortcut. <laughs> just a little... <laughs> <laughs> you can drive in the water! <laughs> like... Come on, get the NOS, get the NOS, let's get it. <laughs> can we even make it back up this hill? Slowly, <laughs> slowly we can make it back. Come on, <laughs> it's so slow, it's tr struggling. This game is struggling, I can't watch this. <laughs> it's struggling, I just want to deliver the last one and then we'll switch. Come on! <laughs> oh my god. What is happening? Are we gonna go through it? Oh my... Okay, I don't think we... Can we go backwards? Nah. Oh, I think I messed up. I didn't actually realize there was water here. Let's just float down to the bottom again. Oh my gosh, look, we're so close! Let's do- okay, here we can get back up. We should be able to. <laughs> this speed? <laughs> That's why we need NOS. I think we're actually just supposed to go over this bridge. Come on, you can do it, car. Come on. If she gets out, would the car just fall backwards? We're gonna go through this tree. Come on. Okay. <laughs> no! Come on. Okay, maybe we just keep driving. Okay. Got a waterfall. Hmm. Come on, we can get up this. Okay, come on. Come on. 
What is Nos slash Nos? We're from Nos nickname it. Yeah, nitro oxide laughing gas. No, no, no. It's from um, it's from fin um, Fast and Furious. They use this stuff called Nos that like when you press a button, the car goes into like super speed. <laughs> and so that's what I'm saying. I need some Nos. I don't remember what the full thing is for. Okay, I think we're getting back up. Okay, we're floating back up. But hey, the house is right there. The house is right there. Our delivery is right there. Come on, game. You can let me back up. Okay, I actually think we're doing it. I think we're doing it. Okay, we're back. We're back. Woo! <laughs> Perfect. And we made it. We made it. This is Bear Creek. Is this a package? Must be a must be a Meredith is a menace to society. Yes, indeed. As of <laughs> she today, made it. I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice Let's get this you. guy to hate us. Likewise, I'm Meredith, and here's your mail. Thanks. I better open this right away. Why are you telling me that? Go inside. He's also wearing blue eyeshadow. Oh, what the? Or eyeliner. Or, sorry, mascara. You know what? Whatever. He's wearing some blue on his eyelashes. I'll leave, I'll leave you to it. Have a nice day. Uh, yeah. Thanks, and sorry. It's not your fault this is full of bull crap. What? <laughs> What? Okay, maybe that guy we should have just listened. He's kind of rugged. Flirt with him. That's what I was thinking. You missed the tea. I didn't think. Okay, so sometimes you got to get the tea. Oh, wait, she can walk faster. Hey, let me know what's in the mail. I changed my mind. I want to know. He's number one. Oh, number one to my heart. We missed his tea. Can I go back? Can we get out of the game? Oh, wait. Maybe we can load. Oh, it's going to take us all the way back, chat. I can't choose yes or no. I can't choose yes or no. Load this one. Yes. Neither one of them. Okay, you can't. I can't chat. I I messed it up. Holy, we have to go all the way over here? Okay, last one. 500 lake. Should we take the lake down? Where is it? Do you, chat, do you think we can drive all the way through this lake over there? Do you think we can do that? Hmm. Oh, right. Bear Creek near the old lumber yard. Oh my gosh, she's saying it because we finally made it. I would not want to drive on this bridge, chat. I would not want to drive on this bridge. <laughs> it cut out immediately. It was like, don't do that. <laughs> okay, it doesn't let you go in the big lake. It doesn't let you go in the big lake. Okay, get in the car, get in the car. Smitty Werberman Jensen was number one. Oh, I feel like I know. Is that from SpongeBob? Okay, that was an accident. Chad actually didn't mean to drive that way. Okay, we'll go this way. We'll deliver the last mail and then we'll switch demos. Do it. <laughs> but Mr. Krabs, he was number one. 
Are you serious, SpongeBob the Squidward? Yeah, okay, I was, okay. That's where I thought it was from. Man, we need to get a sports car to deliver this mail. Oh my. If I was actually trying to play this game chat, I think I'd still be, I'd have a lot of fun because it, it is really fun. I know I'm goofing around just being goofy, but I think I think it is really fun. I think it's actually something that would be really good to make ASMR videos too. I think it could be pretty good for that. So I'm gonna keep my eye on it. It is kind of fun to just drive around. I think if I had a steering wheel and somehow I could get that to work, I think that'd be even better. Like actually feeling like I'm driving around. Oh, it's here, it's here, it's at the diner. Oh. You know how it is when you're trying to drive. <laughs> we got it. Oh, we gotta park. <gasps> oh, the sound just cut out. <laughs> okay, chat. Okay, chat. I can do this. There we go. Perfect. Oh, well, we're in the parking spot, so that's fine. Oh, wait. Is this a package? ASMR of you crashing into things? <laughs> she can't get back up here? Are you serious? Okay, she can't. I can't leave the car there because she can't get back up there. Okay. We'll actually put it in there. We'll actually put it in there. Oh, dang. Wow. She really can't get on. <laughs> she really can't. Okay. La la la. I'm not delivering the mail. Can I get food in here? I want some food, bro. Meredith Wise? As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. And the occasional gray hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right? Why did you say that about her? Wow. We'll be nice Green. to this one. Long this person. No see. I feel so old. Such a cute oh, little diner. It's so cute. Like the NPCs it's just you. sitting in there. <laughs> it only makes a person yeah. more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. Yeah, one quick okay. drink. Then. One quick drink then. I know you're busy, huh? Little bird told me all about your temporary mail job. This already. is. News I'm sorry. It's spread around already. Around here. So oh, it is a small town. Something stronger. I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. Uh, we'll just say, well, yeah, let's, maybe this is nostalgic. It's like I'm 17 again, Maureen. In that case, you're welcome, honey. Two coffee coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I The sound of her correctly. walking is still you looping in the back. Almost every afternoon after school at one point. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. <laughs> and Ashley, Hello? Uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. What is happening? Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Uh, is everything it's okay? It's actually hon? okay. Oh, Lord have mercy. Is he being able to pause this? Like, I'm so concerned about Ashley right now. No offense, Marine, but I'm going to back away slowly. Maybe you should check that out. Maybe you should check that out. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Ugh, 
that poor kid. That was a kid? A disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. Oh my gosh. That is mad str uh, Mad stress. You know what? I never thought about it, but delivering mail in a small town wouldn't work be pretty short. By the time you deliver everyone's mail, I guess I guess if you were only delivering mail, but if I uh, maybe in small towns, if you deliver the mail, maybe you also like. Is this even the right way? Maybe you also have to do like other stuff in the office, so you're not just. Uh... This is pretty much the right way. Bit crooked. We could just cut through this. I don't know what if like is Ashley okay? Okay, they saying that's a kid. I'm like, are they okay? Oh my god. Yeah, see the cars help you out. <laughs> Her scream. Back in town. Back in town. You're driving on the wrong side of the road. What if this is the UK? You have no idea where this is. This could be right. See? Now it's the UK. You have no idea where we are. Judging the diner 100% of me. Uh, there could be diners in the UK. Uh, chat. There's nothing here that says this is America. <laughs> There's nothing here. The flag. The UK could just have flags like that for fun. <laughs> the American Hello? flag. Hi, Meredith. I didn't oh, see the flag. Okay, chat. How's the job? Uh, I'm doing Hi, great. Mom. I'm doing great. It's Why so is she wearing such comfy sweaters all the time? And drive around. Oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. Oh, he works there? I can imagine that. How is Dad? Can he handle all this freedom? Oh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and dad's ordering a margarita again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you, are they in a casino? Everyone's out balling. I'm just here. Read a book. The Countess and the Carpenter? Just joking. Watch TV. <laughs> really, Mom? Oh, well, let's give it a read. The Countess and the Carpenter. No, Carpenter. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear this. Chapter one. A no! more disastrous entry to her new home was scarcely imaginable for Cecilia. I didn't know you had to wow. do this. Gotta go have fun. Thanks, Rachel, for being here. Collapsed. Hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Through the gates of the magnificent Raubenstaben estate. Oh she my gosh, Chad. upside down, hurt her head, and worse, her hat was ruined. What is this? Suddenly, she heard the deep, strong voice. Oh my, I don't want this. Are you all right, madam? <laughs> the deep, strong voice of a man. Holy, so you really go through all the days. Oh, well, that's pretty interesting. Oh, you deliver to different places every time. That's interesting. This is a long ass demo. Yeah, I really thought the demo was going to be over after this time, which is why I was kind of like leaving. <laughs> it's a long demo, but it's not that bad. I kind of like it. I think it would make a good ASMR game. So Tunic Teacup and Lake is what we've played. So there is the Hello Guest demo, which I don't know if it's necessarily a part of the Summer Game Fest, but it was there and I don't remember seeing it there before. So we'll check it out. We'll check it out. I think we have like a couple more. If you don't know what this is, I'm pretty sure it's based off of I don't know. Hello, neighbor? Yeah. Oh. 
What's the difference? This looks like the guy you play as in the game. We'll play as that guy. He looks like the guy you're going to play as in the new game. What is this? Oh. Yeah, this is the guy you play as in the new game. He's supposed to... His vibe, bro. His outfit. He's supposed to be like, um... A news reporter or something? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was loud. Holy. You can pick between the two now. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> What's on his chin? Is that a band-aid or something? Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm dropping all my garbage. I'm dropping all my garbage. How did I pick it up? Okay. Oh shoot, where did I throw the paper? Chat, we already have to restart. I threw the paper. We'll pick him again. I have to, <laughs> I threw the paper that I needed through the map. Okay. <laughs> Am, am I gonna get scared? What is- I don't even know what this is. It's got these creepo vibes. This is super early demo, you can feel it. This is theme park? Where- Where are we going? In here? Okay. Do you hear an alarm clock? What is that? A phone? What the heck? I don't like all these noises. It's kind of messed up. This is supposed to say security stuff, but everything's all messed up. How do I open stuff? Oh. Start shift, check the top of the mountain. Okay, what am I supposed to do with this stuff in my hand? What am I? Am I supposed to do something? Oh my gosh, did I put that stuff in there? I don't know how to pull the stuff that I had in my hand out. Wait chat, I can't pull anything out. I feel like... Maybe this is glitched up. Cause I can't... Oh, I threw it. How do I switch from one to the other? Huh. I think it might be a little bit... I can look at it. Oh, I have to hold it? Yes, I've been asleep for the last five hours. Yes, hey game over, welcome in. How do you use this? the heck that what the <laughs> what is going on up there is this scary chat I don't want to play a scary game right now what is that noise I think it is a scary game. Max, I don't feel like playing a scary game. Sign, it's nice to be welcome. Wait a minute. 
Is there something I can take? If this is... Wait, 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 wait. Can I take this? Okay. Can I take other stuff? Oh my gosh, the sounds are so horrible. <laughs> They're so aggressive, like, aggressive sounding. Hmm. What is that? Dude, I hate this. Wait, chat, do you want it? It's not? Max, chat, do you want to see this demo or do you want to do a different one? Do you want to see this? This, I don't think, was a part of Summer Game Fest. I think this was something different. All these horrible ass sounds. Oh my god. It's coming to us. I just have to run. I'm scared. I'm just scared. I've got to run. Also, don't know if this is a glitch or if it's supposed to sound like this one. What is that? What is that? What the heck? People are destroying the park, so I can just walk in there? This is kind of horrifying. This is kind of horrifying. My right trigger is, like, vibrating for some reason. Just the right one. Just let me in. I'm the guard? Oh no, I threw my stuff. I don't know how to use this stuff. It doesn't give me an option to. Oh, this one. I already pressed this button before. Get away! <laughs> 75, what? go away! alone where's the other one I need to go I think it's hello guest on hello neighbor oh so this isn't even this isn't even the new like thing this is just something else okay chat well if it's if it's not even the thing we'll just we'll just play a different thing I thought it was the hello I don't know it was in the demos ah uh, okay okay I thought it was in the demos this is just something else. Okay, the next one is something called, the next demo is something called Button City. What do you mean, no, Max? It's not even the thing. We're specifically doing Summer Game Fest. Okay. Button. Wow, there's a thing for it here too. Button City. Okay, hello. Thank you for playing the Button City demo. This game is still in I don't know what they wanted me to read. I don't know what it said. Let's see how this runs. Okay. Oh my gosh, I have to turn it on. Uh, play. All right, let's see what this one's about. I think we have like four more. We have one more and then two more for that are on the PC. Oh, we're playing a Game Boy? Fluff Squad. Fennel, Fennel, Fennel! I'm Sorrel. Hi, Sorrel, I'm here. You have to get to the Button City Arcade. Oh yeah, isn't this one about saving an arcade? It's kids day, all games are free. We have to hurry and get uh, get some 
and get some time in on Goba bots. <laughs> Goba bots on my way. Oh, do I actually have to go? Oh. Okay. On. Oh, okay. What should we take? These gumballs we should take. Yeah, take it. Oh, we're just looking. Okay. Oh, we should take a knife, obviously. Oh, look. We can take it. Oh, come on. But we, you always need to take that with you. Oh my gosh. A video game console. You broke your super cast? This fox is undeserving. <laughs> They're undeserving of games. This is so weird. Oh. They've layered everything. Is that the arcade? I'm assuming, assuming Button City is the arcade. Who's this? Oh, am I waiting? Oh, no, I don't want... I don't know what I want. I want... Do I want a soda? Maybe a coffee or lemonade mix would be better? Ew, coffee and lemonade? Ew, Chad, have you ever heard of coffee and lemonade put together? That sounds kind of gross. They don't have coffee or lemonade. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> I don't know. Buy something else. This guy's selling something. Hey, twerp. You're supposed to be nice to me. It's kids' day. <laughs> I am nice. Hmm. Whatever. What do you want? Nothing. I just wanted to say hi. Hey. Hi. Well, I'll be back here if you need me. Interesting. Do we buy tickets here? No, it's just a little mascot. So I guess we have to go to the arcade because we broke our stuff. Oh my gosh. This arcade's amazing. Wow, every arcade I've been to chat is kind of sticky. Do you know what I mean? Everything's sticky and you kind of don't want to touch it. Oh, you finally made it. It's kids day. All the games are free, but there's so many people. It's gonna be hard to play anything I'm gonna see if I can join up on a Team for goba bots We're not going to play as the fluff squad Solid maybe What? Solid maybe I just want to see who all else is here. I hear the scrub squad is dominating everyone at goba bots today When did they get so good? I want to take them down no matter what and who's, uh, or no matter who's on my team. Hmm, maybe I'll try to make my own team too. Sure, you'll need three other teammates to play. Wait, so our friend, chat, our friend invites us to the arcade and then says, I'm going to play with random strangers? What kind of a friend is that? The heck? Heck and heck are you talking about? Scor Sorrel? What do you? I want to keep my options open, but let me know who you pick. Maybe I'll join you. You're my friend. You should just be on my team. Better get upstairs. I want to spy on the scrub squad to see their strats. Later. Later? Guess I have to find three others to play with the challenge. Might as well go outside. I keep hearing great things about Revolution Racer. I just hope the arcade doesn't quickly forget to try it. Okay, I'm just gonna go ask the guy outside, maybe? Can you buy something? Mmm, tasty soda, so many flavors. Okay, first of all, the music needs to go down. The music's too loud. Wow, it's even turned down. Hey, Legacy Autumn, welcome in. Don't worry, I'd leave you too. Max, what the? See, chat? So much kawaii, yeah. This is a cute game. This one is called Button City. We're trying to find some people. Our friend literally invited us to the arcade and then ditched us to find a team. So we have to find some team to play with us. It's the Sesame. Hmm. Oh, hey, Fennel. There's a pretty big crowd here today for Kids Day. I get pretty nervous when there's lots of people around. <laughs> Same. So what's up? Would you like to join my team? Uh, oh, well, maybe. I need to relax really quick. I have some extra headphones. Do you want to chill and listen to music with me? 
Sure. I got some pretty chill beats to relax to. Just jokes. Max, you weren't joking. You would leave me for strange. You'd invite me to the arcade and then say, I'm going to go make a team of strangers and leave. <laughs> That's what my friend just did. That was nice. I'm ready to play whatever. Uh, whenever you have everyone. Perfect. We have one person. Sesame. Let's ask this person. I'm so tired. I brought my little bro to hang out, but there's so many kids everywhere. It's tiring. A bunch of kids is very tiring. There's like kids and then a bunch. Oh, this person's going to be great. Hey, Fennel. Is that Chive? I think that's what that is. I'm just hanging out. There's way too many kids here to do anything. It still beats working my Mart Mart. Oh, working at Mart Mart, though. <laughs> Mart Mart. Do you want to join my team? Are Sorrel and Lavender playing with you? No, they ditched me. No. I'll only play with them on the team. I don't want to carry a bunch of low-tier scrubs. No, chat, this is Max. We found him. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we got him. That's Max. What about me? What about you? You barely started playing. Oh my. That is big Max energy, chat. <laughs> chat, I'm just joking a little bit. You know, just a little bit. <laughs> okay, we gotta find some more people. This guy looks stressed out. <laughs> Max is just joking. Uh, how am I going to live stream if I don't have my go but bot? What? What's a Goba bot? I thought it was a game. I don't remember where I placed it. My fans are gonna be super disappointed. It's me every day, Chad. Just trying to think of things to do for y'all. Join my team. How can I? I don't have my Goba bot. My precious little Gobi. So sweet, so innocent. Oh, where could you have gone? Maybe I can find it. What, really? That'd be great. Thing is, I can't remember where I was today. Oh, I think some of my fans are here at the arcade. They must have seen where I was today. Ask them where they saw me on my live stream earlier. Thanks so much, Fennel. You're awesome. How do I know if someone's a fan? Aw. Are they kids or would they be older? No, that's our. This is our evil friend who just ditched. That's our evil friend. Uh, hey, you might know. Hey, Fluff. Pretty wild, huh? Kids day, so many new people in the arcade. That scrub squad's really leveled up. They're beating everyone today. Never thought they could do it. Still, they could never beat us, the tough fluffs. Saffron. So what's up? Wanna join my team? Hmm, interesting proposition, Fluff. But are you tough enough to have me on your team? Yes? Let's test that. You gotta answer some tough questions. Question one. Oh my gosh, we're going through a quiz. You see an old lady trying to cross the street. What do you do? Trip her. <laughs> help her cross. Help her cross the street. Carry your groceries home. Clean her gutters. And help keep... Yeah, all of it. The tough ones always know how to help with the counting. <laughs> Question two. Chat, I bluffed. You think they'll know I lied? What do you do when you see litter on the ground? Throw more on the ground. I probably threw it. <laughs> See if I can reuse or recycle it. But the real problem is the idea of single use, of a single use world. <laughs> Let's answer that one. Tough. Question three. What's your favorite lollipop flavor? Triple layer swirl pickleberry delight. Ew, that doesn't sound very great. Sour apple lollipops are for babies. Listen, we're supposed to be tough. So I'm gonna say lollipops are for babies, but I personally, like lollipops and if i go to a doctor's office i actually will take one <laughs> i will take one unless the lady looks at me as i start to take one and she's looking at me like don't touch that it's for the ch children then i don't take it and then i buy myself an ice cream you know <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh i think that one was bad i think we i think we should have just chosen a flavor if you have a pal who's crying what do you do make fun of them be a shoulder to cry on cry with them be a shoulder to cry on. Tough, you're there for each other. Question five, how many questions are on this quiz? What is this, EQAO? What does a fl tough fluff wear? Pleather jacket and sunglasses, super cool stick-on tattoos. It's not about what you wear, but how tough you are in your heart. It's about how tough you are in your heart. I feel that, super tough. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see how you did. 
You're super tough. I think the only question we got wrong was that lollipop one chat. I'm ready to take on the scrub squad whenever you are. Okay, good. We have two of the three. Is this a fan? Are you a fan of that kid over there? Kids day was supposed to be fun. My day is ruined. I can't believe we lost to the scrub squad. Tough break. They'll get you too. Okay, whoa. Anyone here a fan of that guy over there? Did we already talk to this person? Fennel, Fennel, do you see? What is it, Cilantro? Fennel, something isn't right with the arcade. I woke up this morning and felt a strange disturbance. Were you watching spooky folders again? Yes, but this is different. My first coffee was a different blend. My pencil holder was two centimeters to the right of where I left it. Everyone is acting strange, like they're happy or something. Who ever heard of a kid's day? I know I haven't. In the force? There's a disturbance in the force that Cilantro has found. Uh-huh. Then I went to the cafe for my fifth coffee and Sage was nice to me and the coffee tasted extra bitter. It's like she put in 11 shots of espresso instead of my normal 10. <laughs> Why would she do that? She's never nice. Well, that's strange. And then I got to go I got to the arcade and what I saw, I couldn't believe it. The scrub squad actually winning. Impossible. How could the worst team in the arcade suddenly be beating every team? They must be cheating. Something isn't right, Fennel. I'm telling you. You know what it is? What is it? We must be in an alternate universe. There's no other way any of this could have happened. We already know we're a data stream stored in a single dimension, being represented to th a 3D projection, being flattened to a 2D light array, being observed and controlled by someone in a hyper dimension. But what if we jump Oh my gosh, but what if we jumped an extra dimension via the fifth dimension where our timeline doesn't matter anymore? And and the we that we are are not the we that we are supposed to be. This cilantro, you're on. What was in that? You're, there was an extra shot of espresso in that coffee. Look, how, look at cilantro right now. And what if I'm the only who, only one who jumped dimensions and I'm seeing the ramifications of the neighboring fifth dimension? Fifth dimension. Wait, who's controlling us? That's the thing, Fennel. It has to be whoever is orchestrating Kids Day. I did some research at the library to look for clues. When did Kids Day start? What was it for? Why haven't I ever heard of it? My research showed that it has been started by Big Soda, Fennel. Big Soda. They want to get us hopped up on sugar and distracted by the busyness, but why? Money? Well, yes. But also to control our minds. Oh my gosh, Cilantro. It is in the sweet syrup, Fennel. Little nanobots. Okay, no, Cilantro is out. What about coffee? Big coffee has their own racket going. But look at the soda, Fennel. Look at the soda! You're probably asking why soda and how did you jump dimensional space? The last thing I had was an orange soda. That must have boosted the out amplitude. Okay, I literally can't even read what Cilantro is saying anymore. Amplitude of my body's resonance frequency to go between dimensions. You go to Sugar Rush and jump dimensions? Exactly! I did more, some more research on how to stop it. A simple filter made up of a wadded up... What? Wadded up paper towels can stop the bots from entering the syrup? The bots are too big to get through. I put the filter in the soda machine when Mr. Button was looking away. Poor Mr. Button has no idea what big soda is doing unless... No! He wouldn't do that to us! Unless the bots got to him first. What if he's from another dimension? What if he's evil? Okay, I'm leaving. This is like a long conversation. <laughs> I don't know where this guy's fans are, chat. We gotta find people who like this live streamer. Game would be much better if we didn't have to use your hands. Oh, we have to ask the kids. Paprika, they're amazing. So funny and popular. I want to be their friend so much. I saw them streaming live at the park in front of the slide. They seem to drop something there. Okay, the park in front of the slide. The park in front of the slide is where we're probably gonna find that thing. This demo also seems like it's probably long. Oh wait, the park is above, I think. That looks like the park. It's a Goba bot. Okay, perfect, we found that real quick. Real quick. Do, 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 do. Okay, we can give this back, and now we've got three people. Did 
you find my Goba bot? Here you go. Yes, where'd you find it? Ah, whatever, doesn't matter. I'm just happy to have them back. I'm ready to take down the scrub squad. Yes! I now have a full team. Let's go take on the scrub squad. We're taking on... Do I want to challenge the scrub squad? Yes. <laughs> you can run away. Yes, another game in the bag. We're doing so great, everyone. I never thought we could win, but look at us now. All of that training paid off. Okay, let's defeat the scrub squad. Our squad's pretty fire. Scrub squad. That's not our name. What? I said that's not our name. Well, um, why does everyone get our team name wrong? Yeah, we're trying really hard. It's like they're doing it on purpose or something. Wait, what's their team name then? What is it? We're here to stop your winning streak. Right, team? Yeah. Hmm, not today you're not. No one will ever defeat us. Let's do this. I thought they would just said they weren't that confident. All right. Move, press A to attack, get fruit to the blender. Okay. A to attack, we need to get fruit to the blender. I don't know what that is. Oh, here's the fruit. I died. Oh, you have to respawn. Oh. Ooh, that guy was coming for me. Okay, our team is absolutely destroying them. block how do they be me so quick okay oh no our whole team is off the board okay oh I can't get close to those people because I throw things me the AI are crying oh my gosh how are they catching up to us perfect oh I didn't toss all mine in here yet Guard this. I'm trolling. I'm trolling it. I'm trolling it. Come on, team. Oh my gosh. Why does he have a whole entire axe? Why am I so invested in this game right now? Okay, got a fruit. out of here how did I die oh we won let's go return to the arcade we beat them yes we did a team through the power of will determination fortitude tenacity and friendship we know kid we're now kids day champions Oh, that was it. That was a cute demo. I'm kind of interested to see like what else happens that makes you have to save the arcade. There's lots of places to go, which is pretty cool. It was cute. 
It was pretty cute, chat. Okay, so we only have... Do we have one more on here? Um, one second, I'm just checking. Okay, well, there's one more called Battle Cakes. And then we switch to, there's two on the thing. One of them looks interesting. It's called a Pico. And it looks like a little, I don't know, like an RPG top down. This one is a turn-based RPG game with cupcakes. <laughs> I don't know. That's what it is. So this is called, what is this one called? Battle Cakes. It says it's an RPG. Pre play the pre-alpha demo. Birthday spring. Oh, I have to name it? We'll just name it Tia. Oh my gosh, you can choose your frosting chat? Look how cute. <gasps> Why can't I be purple? Oh. Okay. It'll be a purple. Could you make them look like humans? Wait. Oh my gosh, you could. That's kind of creeper. I'm a red velvet cupcake chat. There's no white frosting. Some pink. F I'll just be like a pink cupcake or something. I'll just do that. I like these hairs. They're so cute. Aww. I like this one because it reminds me of icing. Now eat it. You imagine making it look like a person and then eating it? Oh, are these my friends? Hey, hey, it's the Battle Cakes. I know you three are busy saving... Pasteleria? Pasteleria? From certain doom and all, but I'm glad you're here. There's always time to help out a friend in need. What's going on, Chuck? Well, peak funhouse season is right around the corner, and it's time for my yearly funhouse tune-up. Wait a hot second. There's a funhouse season? Like, this is a normal thing, not just a charmingly weird marketing stunt you hooked, cooked up. Either way, you've got my attention. Wait, that one's named Red Velvet, but I'm supposed to be Red Velvet. Are you kidding? Any day now, cakes will be lined up for miles. Anywho, I could use the extra set of hands. Think you're up to helping your old pal Chuck out of a jam? Uh, on one condition. No worries, Chuck will help. But first, I was wondering, what's the possibility of getting a free ticket to the funhouse? Right, chat? If we're helping, we need to go for free. You drive a hard bargain, Tia. You want to see the inside of my ho house of historicalness? You got it. <laughs> Score! Those self-improvement tapes you sold me are really starting to pay off. <laughs> what? So how can we help? My yearly tune-up typically involves chasing away any stray honey buns that might have moved in during the off-season. But... I also really need to take down these old spooky critter decorations. I'm aiming for a more historicalness vibe, you know? Oh, hey, what if we went in there and cleaned out the honey But Isn't that what he asked us? With red velvet and midnight truffle by my side, we'll... Wait, Tia, I sense an aura of instability and shoddy craftsmanship. <laughs> Perhaps it would be wise to keep your distance. Shoddy? Get out of here. This place is built together... Is built tougher than a cast iron algebra exam. Oh my gosh, it almost killed me. I'm suing. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, sorry, gang. I gotta get this back up before I can let you in. Liability and all that. In the meantime, go grab a chuck pass from the fishin shanty. You'll need it to get in. We're on it. Hang tight, chuck. We'll be back with that chuck pass faster than you can say Matt Guffin. <laughs> Thanks a bunch, Tia. Hurry back. Okay. Spring cleaning, you need to help him get it. Let's get the pass. I wonder which way we go. This way? It's kind of cute where these cute little cupcakes. It's very nicely drawn. What is that? Is that a cat? 
<gasps> you can pet it! Should we help this guy? Oh, hey there, everything's going... Everything okay here? Wait a second, isn't that wheel supposed to be on the wagon? And you know, not broken? Ha! <laughs> You're not wrong. Personally, I blame this dad gun or dang gummed dad gummed road. It's definitely not wide enough for old Gertrude here. You mean your wagon? You named her Gertrude? Yep, she's one of a kind. Hand built in Marzipan, big enough to live in, but even better for shipping goods. At least she would be with all four wheels intact. Okay. Anything just holler. Did it? Okay, so we're not helping this guy yet. We have to help Chuck first. Is there a map? No such thing. Oh my goodness. The fish and shanty. I'm interested to see how the turn-based like action takes place. Okay, this cat's in the way. No, there is not fishing in this game. Why is there fishing in this game? Oh, we're not supposed to be fishing. We have to find the, oh my gosh, chat. We walked right past it. <laughs> chat oh my gosh so pretty welcome to fish and shanty home of the fabulously famous fish whistle anyway we're kind of closed right now so you might want to come back later just need a chuck pass oh i'm not here to shop we actually just we're actually just here to get a chuck pass we're helping get chuck's fun house up and running for peak fun house season it's peak fun house season already ah this is terrible Without a full stock of whistles, there's no way I can open my shop. My boss would have my name badge in an instant. Maybe we can help. Can you tell us more about these fish whistles? We were supposed to get our monthly shipment from Bun City, but today. Usually a grumpy old cobbler delivers them. Oh, it's the guy we just passed. Like in a wagon? But so far, he's a no-show. It's mildly inconvenient. Relax, the battle cakes are on your side. If there's one thing we're good at, it's helping cakes overcome mild inconveniences. Whoa, real life hero heroes. Okay, so we gotta find this thing. This thing is outside. This guy is outside. Okay. Love sin gab, but I gotta get this back on the road. We know Lily's looking for her delivery, a shipment of fish whistles. She's telling truth about that, or am I getting pranked here? Got him right here. It's a darned wagon blew a wheel and will never get delivered. Uh, leave it to us. No worries, friendo. Friendo! Chad, have you ever called someone friendo? The battle cakes are here to help. If you're okay with it, we can deliver those fish whistles for you. You you do that for me? I don't know what to say. Are you sure about this? I have excuse you. <laughs> you have? Called someone friendo? I've never heard that before. Uh, you could probably throw the whistles the rest of the way. No big deal. Gosh, thanks a million. You give the bills. Seats. A couple. Okay, so we're just gonna take them. And we're not handling paperwork. <laughs> Those fish whistles, on the other hand, are as good as delivered. Okay, let's bring these back. Kind of sucks we couldn't help the guy get his wheel back on. Looks like a little pie crust, that guy. Okay. Have you found the fish whistles? I'm getting nervous. Yes, got him. Squee! <laughs> You really did it. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Here's your chuck pass. Piece of cake. On day's work for the battle cakes. Wait, you named yourself like a pop band? Oh gosh, are you three famous or something? Not yet, but here's hoping. The merchandise opportunities alone are enough to set my frosting aflutter. I can't wait to tell my study group that I met real life celebrities. And hey, thanks to you, the fishing shanty is now open for business. And we got a chuck pass. Okay, this cat should join us. I don't know why this cat didn't join us, chat. How come I couldn't talk to the cat and have it join us? So this is fixed. Here we go, right as rain. Actually, rain may be a fundamental flaw in my design. Oh well, you ready to get to work? Heck yeah! Look out, honey buns. Here come the battle cakes. Go get them, champ. Little tykes all across past Deliria are counting on you. No pressure. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, everyone's counting on this fun house. What is this? Hello? Hark! What villainy is this? Intruders? Our sacred home, best by... Oh, beset by... Brigands? Inconceivable. 
Uh, hold up. Is this part of the act? Do you work for Chuck? I'm so confused right now. It's, this man hissed at us? Oh my gosh. Have you no sense of decorum? You address the Critter King, wretched knave. Henchmen, dispose of this riffraff. That escalated quickly. I, it really did. Okay, let's see how this turn base goes. Okay. We can befriend them. What if we can befriend them? And this one will battle two arrows. This one. Oh, I liked it. Battle magic on that one. Oh my gosh, they're strong. I want to befriend the... <laughs> befriend the... What happens if you befriend them? Do you get to keep them? Can we befriend the one we almost... Uh, murdered? Oh, it heals them. I see, I see. That's interesting. Oh, that's a victory? How is that a victory? Oh, we leveled up. This is interesting. I think if this was like, I don't know chat about you, but I think if it was a younger audience that's like just getting into turn-based stuff, they might think this is pretty fun. It's like Undertale, yeah, it's a turn-based game. So I think for this game, if it was like a younger audience that wants to get into turn-based, I would show this to them first. I don't know though, adults can like it too. I'm just, I was just thinking like, it's something they may be able to like, I don't know, understand how the mechanic works and then move into other turn-based games. My guards are eager to teach you another lesson in humility. Wait, do I smell fish? No fish for you. You reign of terror. Your reign of terror, such as it is, ends today. Let's do battle. Pacifist run? Okay, we're just gonna attack them. Um. Okay. Oh, that one's strong. Red Velvet took a lot of damage. Chop like... Wait, wait, what's wrong with this one? Uses one token. That one's almost out. Oh, it's out. Chop like crazy. Let's do it to this guy. Oh. Ooh, good hit. Let's get this one off the board. Nice. Everyone levels up. Nice. Oh, first aid. Nice. Hiss. I am defeated. The battle is lost. Fall back. Retreat. Cry havoc. My honey buns. The king is vanquished and we shall take our leave of this place. As for you, my worthy adversaries, a token of your victory. Behold, the cog of conquest. A wagon wheel? Hey, hey, a wagon wheel. This is just what Cranston needs to get back on the road. How exciting and oddly convenient. Let's head back over to the wagon by the fishing shanty to do one more good deed for the day. This guy better vacate the premises. 
How did it go in there with those honey buns? Are we open for business? That was awesome. Whoa, why can't we see anything? Holy smokes, where to start? There was a king and the honey buns were under his tyrannical thrill, troll? And he demanded a ransom of fish and then victory. Wait, wait, we can use this, but there needs to be a hook. What? What if the king critter plans to bequeath his kingdom to the honey bun that loves him the most? Oh, and then say, is it just me or is that a customer I see down the road a bit? Whoa, this is no time for complicated narrative structures. I gotta get back to work. Thanks again, Tia. Okay, I think the game completely glitched out because I can't see anything at all. <laughs> but that was pretty fun. I think all we had to do was probably like go and see, um, go and see that guy with the wheel and it would have been done, but it kind of glitched out. And I don't know if it's going to take us back to the same place. So now we have another demo. We only have two more. The last demo, you know what? Actually, we only, we'll only try one more because this last game I'm not sure about. I'm not sure how this demo is going to, you know, be. But this last one is called a Pico. I think that's how you say it. One second. I have to switch over to my PC. I think it's going to be pretty interesting. I don't know a lot about this game. Or what it's about. Let me see if I can find out what it's about. Uh, it's a laid-back beekeeping sim game about breeding, collecting, and conserving bees. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, let's... Sorry, Chad, I have to change it over to PC game. There we go. Okay. Ah! So it is really zoomed out. Whoa, sorry, I just hit my camera. It is pretty zoomed out. But... It's not a bad thing. Okay, it does indeed keep switching. Okay, let's try this out. We can have all kinds of hairs. We'll just do that here. What is your name? Tati, and we'll set sail. So this is kind of interesting. It looked pretty cool. I think we also saw this one during the Wholesome Direct. A lot of these we saw during the Wholesome Direct. Airmail. Dear Tati, it was so lovely to get your letter last week. I think it's wonderful that you're taking an interest in beekeeping again. Both me and Gramps had always hoped you'd want to carry on the keeper family tradition. And there isn't anything more enjoyable than being out here with the bees. Plus, I'll say it'll be a well-earned break from that busy city job of yours. Okay, so we got a Stardew Valley vibe of your leaving a busy town. Or just a sim, normal sim story of your leaving a busy life to do a simpler life. I've posted you a ticket for the next boat that comes in. Skipper will be overjoyed to see you again after all these years. Have a safe journey and I'll see you soon. Love, Nan. Aww. Okay, so it's hella zoomed out. Ho ho, we made it, Tati. And just as ya were getting ya sea leg, okay. And just as ya were getting your sea legs, ho ho. Here we are, Port Apico. And what a lovely day for a demo. It was jolly good to have ya aboard again, Sonny. Takes me back. Do you still remember ya way around the place? Ho ho, no problem. Here, have my map. I know this place like the back of my boat. Your dear old Nan is off exploring at the moment, but she told me to give you your Gramps journal. Should you... Should help you find your way around. If you need anything, just holler. I've got a few... Trinkets you might find useful. Now off you go. Luck of the hive mother be with you. And reward... And remember, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. Thank you. Okay. Oh my gosh. That was really weird. Okay. Oh, there's stuff in here. We can just... Okay. Okay, let's just continue then. 
So there's a map, M. It doesn't really load it. I wonder if that's a glitch or if it's supposed to be that way. This game looks pretty cool. Oh, we got recipes and a workbench. Okay. Oh, I think we actually live over here. I think we live in here. Oh, we can craft a table. Hold shift for info. Press M to open. Okay, that's for the map. Hold shift for info. G to open? Okay. Welcome to Apico, a game about discovering and breeding bees. This book will serve as your guide throughout the game. If you get stuck, lost, stung by bees, this book is here to help. Perfect. You can press G. Or you can click it in the toolbar menu. Progress. Claim that. As is your first chapter, here's a freebie. Keep her safe. Her name is Beatrice. <gasps> we got a bee! You can move up and down. Have your mouse over stuff. Hold shift for info about it. Okay, we'll claim that. That's an axe. Uh, when you click on something, you'll use whatever item is equipped in your hotbar. One through eight. You can change it by scrolling. Okay. Can we put this, like, here? These can go here. This is the map, right? I want to put this here. This is Beatrice. So I think we can chop some trees down. There we go. So we're gathering resources. <gasps> what is that? Is that a bee? Honey rose beekeeping. Huh. Okay, let's open that thing again. G. We can claim this. You can knock down, collect trees, and come back for a reward. Resource management. As you start the deforestation of this poor, helpless world, you'll notice you're picking up a lot of different things. Well, you can always see them with E. We just learned that. Pick up any item in the slot, move it to any other slot. Okay, we got a barrel. Time for crafting. Grab a oh wait, 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 we didn't change the Chad, we didn't change the game. I just realized we didn't change it. There we go. So this one, Chad, I am playing on Steam. So if you want to check it out and you don't have because the other ones were on Xbox, um, you might be able to get some of them on Steam as well, but this is the one that's on Steam, it wasn't on Xbox. Um, click on the workbench and you can make, fun fact, the workbench takes into account all items in any open menu, so you don't need to be carrying the items. Oh, that's so useful, chat. So even if something, I guess, is like in your chest somewhere, you don't actually have to go and look for it. You can actually just build with it. That's so helpful. I hate in games when I have to keep running back and forth to put, pick things up. We need to get a saw bench. Hmm. Wait, did I not read that right? Okay, get yourself enough logs to craft one. Come back here to get more logs. We have a ton of logs. We have like... 16 logs already. Is that a saw bench? I can't craft it for some reason. Wait, why can't we make one? 
Once you've placed, you can click on a workbench to view the crafting menu. Go open the workbench and you'll see a recipe for saw bunch. Get yourself enough logs. I do have enough logs. 20 out of 16, in fact. I don't have enough resources. Oh, I need... Oh, it's flipped. So it says I need 20. I see. It's not saying 20 out of 16. It's saying you have 16 out of 20. So it's flipped. It's backwards. We'll just get these. Okay, now we should have enough. There we go. Claim that. That's all the instruction. That's all from the introduction. Don't worry, we'll leave you completely lost. Bees. Discover and craft new items. Perfect. Okay. Finding bees menu magic. Carpentry. Ooh, we can make different things like sticks and stuff. Uh, let's see. What is this? Predictor. Potential offspring of a queen. Oh, wow. You can go in, like, depth with it. Flooring. Wood panel flooring. Cosmetic items. Interesting. Can we make sticks? can't make sticks I have this oh in a saw bench we can make sticks I see chat that's why we have it okay we have a lot of saw benches can we just drag it was that Oh, oh, we actually have to use it like it's a saw. That's kind of interesting. Look, we actually have to do this. Like how you would a saw. That's kind of interesting. You actually have to drag it side to side. Okay, what if we do this? And that's how we get sticks. I see. That's kind of interesting that you have to manually do it. Like you're actually sawing. Okay. Claim that. Basic tools. Oh, we need to make an axe. Oh, is that stuff still in there? New recipes for the workbench. Okay. We need to make an axe. Craft. And we need to make... Okay, we put this over here. We have a lot of inventory space right off chat, which is kind of cool. Usually we don't get a lot of inventory space like that. Okay, we have Beatrice. We gotta leave Beatrice there. Now we wanna make this. We need more sticks. We need more wood. Is this a beehive? <gasps> it's a beehive. The queen has finished her cycle. Okay, I need to learn more about that before I even touch the bees. I don't even want to touch the bees, chat. We gotta claim that. Okay. We gotta make, what is that? Something. We gotta make something. Let's keep knocking trees down. I feel like I want to replace these trees. Actually, can we shovel? Mm. It doesn't seem like we can right now. The only thing right now, chat, about this game that I kind of wish was different is I kind of wish, um... I kind of wish that it was zoomed in a little more. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of nice being able to see everything, but I kind of wish I could zoom in just a little bit. But it doesn't seem like there's any options for that. So that's quite interesting. It's quite interesting indeed. That's the only thing I'm kind of... Uh... Has 
has a tenant belt. Otherwise, it's kind of cool. I actually felt was following this game on Twitter chat because I've been following a lot of indie games. I'm um, just checking them out. And this was one of them. And I was actually really excited. I think it was at the Wholesome uh, Direct is where we where I saw this one. Like showcase. Whoops. Okay, so we should have enough. We also get sawdust, which is crazy. Okay, so we should have enough to make. Oh, wow. Oh, because I picked up some of that stone? I can do stone upgrades. A tree tap? Oh my gosh, okay, we need to build this though, right? Yeah. That's crazy, okay. We can claim this, and we got a bunch of stone. Finding bees. You get to know, let's get to know Oh, let's get to why you're really here. Bees. To get started on your beekeeping journey, you'll find yourself some bees out in the wild. Different species of bees can be found in different areas. Oh, okay, so like these are all different colors. I like these bees though. They remind me of normal bees. Um, different species of bees can be found in different areas. Try having a look around for bees flying around. Eventually, they'll head back to their hive. To start, you'll need a plan. Oh, a plain old common bee. A bee from the forest and a bee from the shores. Once you find a hive, you open it with your your button. You click it to have a look inside and take any of the bees with you. You can pick up the hive with a hammer gently. With a hammer? What kind of a sentence? You can pick up a hive with a hammer gently. Okay, a tree tap. Oh, this is so cool. Hmm. Okay, it wants us to find... Oh, it's dark? It wants us to find some bees. We can put stuff in there. When two menus are open, you can use shift while clicking to move stack of things to the other menu. I've done that. What is this button? You can use the O, O, O button to set the menu as target. Q while hovering already item to set this while you're talking. Okay. Holy, look at the guides, chat. There's so much so many guides. Okay, it wants us to find bees. Maybe we should just sleep till the next day though. Oh, do we not sleep? I guess we do not sleep. Okay, there's gotta be bees. Or is this our house? I don't know what's our house. Do this one. Oh look, there's different kind of bees here. Okay, we got a kind of bee. We need to find a different kind of bee. Hmm. Oh, that's too deep for us to walk in. Hmm. I just see a bunch of the bees I think we already have. Yeah, we already have that kind of bee. Oh, this one. Okay. We got a beehive. So can we put them all in there? Can we put them all in a beehive? There's lots of beehives all around here. I wonder if we can put them all in one beehive chat. I kind of want to clear an area and make a little beehive area. You can't put them in my house. 
We have a beehive right here. And I want to put... Oh. It disappeared. What happened to it? We need to put some flowers down. I don't have any more flowers. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a little... Oops. Little leaves or something. Okay. Let's make a tree tap. Tree tap. Craft it. Okay, what do we do now? Claim this. Okay. Tree resin. Collecting tree resin from trees will let you treat your wood and make it more... Whoa, we can treat our wood and make it more versatile? It lasts longer for beekeeping purposes. To get resin from a tree, you'll need to craft a tree tap. This will tap the tree automatically. Uh, let's tap this tree because it's over here. Oh. Have I tapped it? Have I tapped the tree? Oh. Okay, nice. Okay, so we did those two things. Flower power. If we collect flowers, we can get the flower journal. Okay. There's all kinds of flowers we can get. There's a lot of trees. I feel bad cutting the trees down, but I feel like there's so many trees. I have to at least make like paths to walk through. There we go. Is that kind of flower? Hmm. Oh, there's more flowers down here. Are these flowers? Are those the flowers? Oh, five. Okay, five of each of these flowers. Oh, is that like a... Oh, I don't have an axe anymore. Dang. We walk kind of slow, too. <laughs> like, really slow for the amount of area that you're covering. Okay. I don't think there's a way to speed up, is there? No, there isn't. Let's craft this. Might as well craft a better one. Might as well. I want to at least get these orange flowers. Wow, we're going to have a lot of wood. It should be five. Okay, we'll just collect all these flowers and then I think we'll be done for the day. I think. Flower. No, it's this. Flower. Get this. Okay, how many left? Okay, just the red one. There we go. Now we have the book. F for flowers. Ah, so it teaches us how to use it for the hut for the bees. Okay, this seems like a very in-depth game. Like there's a lot to learn, 
but I feel like it could be pretty fun, a pretty chill, relaxing game for like, I don't know, like vibing, like, you know, setting up a huge like honey area, like a huge beehive. I think that'd be really, really cool. It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Oh, I'm getting tired though, chat. That was pretty good. I think all those demos were good. I think Tunic is good. It's kind of like Dark Souls and like uh, Blue said, it's like Dark Souls and um, uh, Zelda games kind of like put together, which was really interesting. For me, very frustrating because I'm not patient, but it was really good still. Um, we also checked out, we checked out so many different games today. I don't even remember. Um, I like the one delivering the mail just because that was kind of meme -y. But I think if I played it normally, I would actually have fun probably playing that game, to be honest. I don't know if it's super fun to watch, but it was it was kind of fun to like drive around, even though I was being crazy. <laughs> so that's a good game. They're all good games, honestly. They're all good games. Um, some of them, after playing the demos, I know I'm going to probably keep looking at. And some of them, I'm, I think, like I'll keep looking at them, but I don't know necessarily that I'm going to buy them. But they're really cool. It's I'm really it's really nice that we're able to test out all these games, especially if you have an Xbox. All those games are on there, except for the one we just played at Pico, which is on Steam. Some of the ones we played are also on Steam. You just kind of have to um, go look and kind of check it out. Um, you can always look back to this VOD because all of the games I tried to change the game every time we played a new one. So all the games actually the names of the games will be listed, which is kind of nice. So if you're interested in one, you can just go back and check it out, which is super cool. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a good time. Um, I am not streaming tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday. So usually I'm editing videos and things like that. Um, so I won't be live tomorrow, but I will be live on Thursday, 3 p.m. Eastern. We're going to try and finish Ratchet and Clank. It probably won't even take the whole stream because we're pretty much at the ending of that game. Um, so we'll finish up Ratchet and Clank. And then I'm thinking we will start a brand new game here on the channel. Um, I'm deciding between Detroit Become Human and something else. There was something else. I can't remember what it was. But that's what I was thinking. I was thinking of doing that. So I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, Monday, we will be doing a Minecraft stream on the realm. It was requested uh, by some of you because you built something cool in there and you want me to check it out. So I'm going to go and check that out. And maybe we can build a new area or something or work on, work on something. Um, so yeah, that's what the rest of the week is kind of looking like. Um, and then next week, I don't know what we're doing next week. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out i am going to be taking a mini vacation soon probably a couple days um because i just need a couple days to kind of sleep and do nothing um but i'm thinking of that's going to be more in july so that's more towards the end of the month but i just want to give you the heads up so you are aware that that is probably going to happen for a couple days um but yeah i hope you enjoyed i hope you liked some of these demos i think they're pretty good pretty cool games definitely check them out if you are interested um thank you so much to everyone who's come to all the streams i think this is day nine of me streaming straight so i'm very tired i've never streamed that many days in a row at all so it's kind of crazy because we and it's only because we were streaming a lot of the e3 stuff so yeah i hope you all enjoy thank you so much to everyone who came out to those streams i know there's no vods of them because i wasn't allowed to have any but thank you so much for coming to those streams if you're able to come live i appreciate it and had a really good time and i really hope i can do it again for the award show the game awards i think that'd be super cool to do um so yeah, I hope you all have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, or night. And um, yeah, just remember to stay safe, hug your loved ones, and I'll see you all on Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern. And I hope you have a good one. Bye.